Okay, let's try this again. Oh, look. It looks like it works this time. And Fury's on the flurries on the cover. Or on the title screen. Isn't that nice? <clears throat> yeah, so, uh... Oops, hold on. Good, we're fine on this end. Yeah, for whatever reason, sometimes this happens. As soon as I get to this, like... Uh, like... When I, when I move from, like, this screen to this screen, for some reason, uh, the main, uh, play, uh, video playback just freezes. And it's usually, like, it's usually, like, on here, right? Even though I already have the game running. So it's, like, visually glitched, and the only way I know how to fix this is to literally turn on my computer off and turn it on again. Meaning I have to end the stream soon. It's it's annoying. I don't know why. I hate PCs. I hate PCs so much. They keep doing this shit and for no reason. It's always for no reason too, because this was never an issue until like it started happening like a couple weeks ago, and it's like, why? Nothing's changed. Why are you doing this? <clears throat> anyway. Last time on Thousand Year Door, we completed the tree and def and stopped uh, Magnus von Grapple from sealing the Crystal Star. Then, before we uh, head to Glitzville, we decided to d clean up, do some trouble cleanup, go into the pit of a hundred trials for a little bit, and do some menial, menial, menial tasks. And we also helped out the boss find his daughter. And we have the way to the blimp. And we're on our way to Glitzville, however, I just noticed I have low up FP. I don't know, I think I'll just do a quick heal. I probably should have done that last time, I don't know. I'm just gonna get a quick heal right here. I don't have the money, so never mind, I guess I'm not doing that. Okay, anyway, we're going to Glitzville. We got the blimp ticket, and we're on our way to start chapter three. There's nothing else to do. I did a lot of things already. All right. This fight goes to Glitzville. You'll need a ticket to travel with us. Everything looks in order. Will you be coming aboard? Yes. Then please watch your steps. Step as you step aboard. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought there was like something hidden back here. Off we go. Oh, all the partners are visible in the in the scene right now. Wait. Hold on. Okay, it's probably only for this scene right here. Okay. Of chapter three of Glitz and Glory. Probably for this cutscene only, because I'm thinking this won't be the case as soon as you try to go back to Blissville uh, in a later chapter, basically. So this is an added cutscene. At least I think so. Because I don't remember this. Because I think it basically just did this, more or less. Because I don't remember the scene where it shows all three of your party members within the ship, the blimp as well. Oh, well, no doubt about it. This is Glitzville. Can you believe it actually floats? Well, let's get to it, huh, Mario? Let's let's find that crystal star as fast as we can. 
Yeah, Glitzville, I love this place. All right, let's take a look around. Yep, this is Glitzville. This is so, it's so exotic. It feels like we're in another country. It feels like an entertainment hub that attracts visitors from all over the world. Glitz Pit is obviously the main attraction. That's where fighters duke it out. There's also the fresh juice shop and the souvenir shop and the hot dog stand too. Let's visit them all. Glitzville hangs out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. That's a Lakitu. He's come here for the atmosphere. Get it? Atmosphere? Ha! <laughs> anyway, he seems to think jokes like that beauty are to to think jokes like that beauty are totally hilarious. Ah, uh, oh, windows, windows noises. You rode the blimp here, didn't you? Boy, I envy you. I'm dying to ride that thing, but air travel makes me yuck. How'd you get here? Wait. How did you get here, then? That's a toad from Glitzville. She really wants to travel, but she's terrified of flying. So my question is, how the heck do you think she got here? Ponder that. It, that's what I'm asking. That is exactly what I'm asking. Well, hi there, Murphy. It's Croup, the mayor of Petalburg. How's Coops? I don't remember this. I don't remember this little bit of dialogue, but okay. What do we got in the item shop? Some pretty cool things. This is Toad that runs the Glitzfield Souvenir Shop. They got great stuff here. Tourist shop come here. Tourist, sh tourist shops here a lot. Tourist shop here a lot. But I hear that a lot of fighters do too. A very good day to you, my very good man. You have no doubt noticed Glitzville's many aromas. Well, the finest of them is Mr. Hoggle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins apiece. May I attempt you? Sadly, I only have three. Come again. Maybe later. That's Mr. Hoggle from the hot dog stand. He sold dogs for like 30 years. Nobody is as hot for hot dogs as him. He's always looking for the next miracle hot dog. Anyway, his dogs are famous. Nobody comes to visit here without having one. Oh, that's new. This is a new thing. Obviously, it's meant so you can take pictures. I mean, this was here the entire time, but like, this was like the most you can do. Was this. Daddy, I'm hungry. I want to eat a hot dog, and I want to eat it right now. <clears throat> That's Bub, the Bob, the bob -omb. He's from a very rich family, so he's kind of spoiled. Still, kids are kids, no matter how big their trust fund is, aren't they? So this is good for you. Not a bad place, if a little on the tow, uh, tow dry side. Tow dry side, I don't know. Uh, perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand. That's Gold Bob, the Bob Bomb. He's the head of the wealthy business Gold Bombington. Gold Bombingtons. He's got buckets of ducats, they say. I guess some folks are just good with money. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of what sort of coinage one might sell out to build a vacation home here. That's Sylvia, the Bob Bomb. She's super wealthy. She's got a real high society air around here. I even her perfume smells like money. You see that hot dog stand over there? Best hot dog menu of all time, no joke. Hey, but you look more into fighting than hot dogs. Are you a pro? I'll root for you. That's a toad from Glitzville. I think he works here. I don't know why, but he seems to be cheering for us. Hey, more power to you. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I could do the voices that well right now. I can already feel my my th my throat, you know, acting up. <clears throat> Actually, so for a lot of these, I might just keep it neutral. We're 
We're the World Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3, usually. But here in Glitzville, we're the Rough and Tumble Battling and Traveling Sisters 3. These are the Traveling Sisters 3. They seem to go everywhere together. They also seem intentive. Do they even notice e each new place they wind up in? I think that was the same in Petalburg, so... So there's the Toad. Master, actually, do you have anything new to say? Let's see, is there anything new? Power punch in deep How? What do you mean, power punch? Power punch is a tonic- Oh. It's the milk thing. Okay, never mind. Not really that useful to me. Types of audience members, let's take a look. Let's talk about more of them. Koopas throw good stuff for trash, and sometimes hole up in their shell. Xox throw trash, but when your attacks mix, they throw a hail of stones, like a whole hail. Piranha plants sometimes just eat the spectators next to them. Goonies throw good stuff, but will run away and leave the theater if they're surprised. Okay. Hey, hey, Act, how's it going? What's been, what's going on? <clears throat> we made it to Glitzville. Oh look, an end coupon. Got that. Let's check out the juice uh the juice shop. It's glitzy. That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before. One and a half hours left of work this week. Uh so it's so close, but yet so far away act. <laughs> it's so close. That fabulous mustache. I've seen it somewhere before. I know it. Yes, Mario. That is a definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. Wow, this lady is so pretty. I wonder what her name is. As far as I can tell, she's always quietly enjoys her juice in the corner alone. What is it that mysterious woman uh, do to become so mysterious? What a mystery. Ah, bonjour, Monsieur de la Moustache. So you also come to this place. Right now, I am a loopy in love with that uh, for that ravishing ravishing creature over there. She is a sight to behold, and I saw her first. Do you say the same thing? Uh, it's that gross guy, Dupree. What's he doing in Glitzville? How annoying. <clears throat> you don't think he... he th Wait. You don't think he thinks he's on an adventure with us, do you? Yeah, uh, I, my voice is acting up, so I'm probably not going to do too many unique voices. We'll see. Gotta try to stay hydrated, honestly. <clears throat> Hey there, and welcome. Our doors are always open for thirsty fight fans. So grab a frosty juice, and take a, take a load off, and enjoy. That's the manager of the Glitzville Fresh Juice Shop. His name is Podler. Looks like a lot of fight fans gather here since the Glitz Pit is so close. Oh hey, and by the way, Podler is a huge hammer fan. He totally loves hammers. So what you're saying is I need to go hammer man. That's what you're telling me right now. <laughs> Today's main event will rule. I'm betting on Rockhawk, no matter who's fighting him. That's a Dugon fan, fight fan. He seems to be a totally huge Rockhawk fan. Know what I think, though? He mostly just wants to win his bets. That's a Lakitu fight fan. Apparently, he thinks Prince Mush is the bomb. Prince Mush must have been a pretty big deal, sounds like. Uh, you don't look very familiar. Are you on vacation? Me? I'm just a Lakitu who digs on combat sports. Uh, on combat sports, dude. Nice meeting you. There we go. I I I I I did it. Star piece. I had a feeling there was something back there. All right. Now let's go into the building. The only thing, uh, the only thing you miss is that the hot dogs, uh, cut out actually lets, has like a new angle when you examine it, so you can take a picture. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobodies. Sorry, move it or lose it. That's a local reporter. I'm pretty sure he covers the fight scene. He's such a veteran. He, he even directs the rookie cameraman next to him. 
Move it to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. That's a local cameraman. He seems a little frustrated. I think he's new at this and just makes lots of mistakes. Just a guess, though. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? Boy, it's hard to find a guy that clean-cut and responsible these days. <sighs> I saw just thinking about him. That's Toad Girl. She's totally in love with that Toad Guy working here. Her crush is so her crush is so powerful. Even I'm getting butterflies. They'd be so cute together. Hold on, where's this Toad? Welcome to the Glitz Pit. Here, savage battles go on each and every day. That's a Toad who works here part time. He's always greets pe uh, patrons like Welcome to the Glitz, Glitz Pit. Love that guy. Come bonk everyone. And I forgot to do that in chapter 2, my apologies. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. That's Miss Mouse, the thief. She just... She jets off to exotic locales to hunt for rare badges. The fact that she's here means the Glitz Pit must have something special. Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of a man, you. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rock Hawk. Toodaloo. That's Toodles the Toad. Gosh, this woman knows how to dress. I'm so jealous. Even classy ladies like her come to watch the fights because she likes tough guys. <laughs> Sorry, Bub, but authorized per uh, people only pass this point. <laughs> if you're looking to see a match, head through the head through the, those main doors. This guy's the Glitz Pit's uh, security. He has to keep an rock. He has to keep watch on this particular er area. You can tell this guy works out all the time. I bet he's buffer than the fighters. Hold on. There's usually different dialogue, even with the same look of a character. <clears throat> Hold on. Hey, Mr. Mustache Guy. Where's Prince Mush? This kid's still small, but he's like the biggest Pr Prince Mush fan I've ever seen. He's here with his dad. It's so cute to see kids and parents having fun. Wrong <clears throat> Hi, we're here because my son is a big fan of the former champ Pr Prince Mush, but it looks like he's not around here anymore. And we came all this way just to see him. Bit of a crying shame, really. This guy is here with the son. I can't tell if he's psyched to be here with his boy, but one way or another, it's nice to see parents spending time with their kids. Sorry, bud. Authorized personnel by this point. Look in the main doors. Okay, you say the same thing. This guy's glitch pit security. He has to keep watch on this particular area. You can tell this guy works out. Oh, okay. You say the same thing. Okay, good to know. This is the glitch pit lobby. It's pretty nice, actually. Sturdy, sturdily built. Nice decor. And what can you say about the luxurious chandelier? Except fabulous. Anyone up here? Yes. Hey, how you doing, bud? I'm a freelance cameraman. I'm always after a scoop. As a freelancer, he's always angling for the next big scoop. We better make sure this guy doesn't shoot us doing anything incriminating. Goombella, what what are we going to be doing that's incriminating? What do you know that I don't? Oh, yeah, we're here for the big match. Whoa, totally awesome. Check it out. Mario, someone's about to catch a beating up there. That's right. Uh, I think I'm about time for you to feel the rock. Oof. Stay down, pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring, or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups, then can come see Uncle Rockhawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking, and send you crying home to mama again. Oh yeah! Woo-wee, champ, that was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who could challenge me? 
No, no one can, hear me? And a fire out there that can make me sweat. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weak greens might think might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rock Hark is the champ. <laughs> oh. I had to try to do Rock Hawk justice, but God, my throat. <laughs> Whoa, look, Mario. There, on the champ's belt. Isn't that a crystal star? Yeah, it totally is. Look at that sparkle. Gotta be a crystal star. Why would it be on in that sweaty old pit like this? What do you think we ought to do? We can't just steal that meathead's belt, can we? This stinks. What do we do? I think we need to steal that thing. Come on, Mario. Seriously, we're the good guys here. We can't do that. No, no. The way I see it, our only option is for you to kick some tails, head, take some names, become the champ, and win that belt. Oh, yeah. So let's get busy, huh? I guess we gotta become official battlers first, right? Um kind of getting soaked about this. Let's go find out who runs this shindig. <clears throat> this is the Glitz Pit itself. That's the ring in the middle. That's where all the magic happens. By magic, I mean brutal beatdowns. Can we- Oh, we can talk to someone. I know a surefire way to avoid losing in the ring. Wanna hear it? Yeah, sure. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I had some cloud in my ear. Anyway, to avoid losing, don't get in the ring. Come on, that was hilarious, wasn't it? I thought of that on my own. That's a lock to spectator. He gives advice to all the Glitz Pit fighters, whether they want to or not. As you might expect, that advice is always a bit off. If you take his words to heart, prepare for disappointment. When I get a little older, I'm definitely gonna be a pro fighter and make the loot. I'll be wearing that belt in five years max. I know it. Believe it. That's a Dugon spec spectator. He comes here every day in hopes of seeing the championship belt. Rumor has it that he hopes to earn the belt for himself within the next five years. He better be training. Do you ever watch minor league fights? You ever watch minor league fights? I do. You sometimes find diamonds in the rough. That's a Toad Spectator. She's a huge fan of one specific fighter and never misses one of their matches. She also enjoys giving nicknames to her favorite fighters, too. Oh, Mario, you should ask her for one. Let me tell you, fans like the fighters to grandstand a, a bit. It drives us wild. That's a Toad Spectator. He's always cheery from his favorite spot on the second floor. He probably knows a few tricks to get the audience's attention. Some of them might actually come in handy. I think there's more spectators on the bottom uh, set that probably say different things. Okay, so first let's go in here and check for dialogue. Oh, a different fight is going on now. Yeah, run it! Uh, ruin that loser! Don't you always forget what about your troubles when you're watching a good fight? Yeah, totally. I hear you talking, man. Awesome! That's a lucky two spectator. He comes to the Glitz Pit every day, cheering on, cheering and jeering from dawn to dusk. Looks like he's really into this match. He's, he'd be even more excited if he could actually hear what anyone is saying. Wait, hold on. Let me check. What do you care? I hear you talking, man. Awesome. Okay, yeah, he couldn't. He can't hear what anyone's saying. Mm. Should he come out fighting or keep his guard up and see how it goes? Tough call. Trying to strategize for the fighters is absolute best because I don't get hurt. That's a Dugon spectator. He's the type of fan who likes to predict the winner out loud while he watches. If you're gonna make a prediction out loud, you better know that you're talking. You better know what you're talking about. I think this guy does. Yeah! 
Oh, hey, sorry. Did I just spit on you? I'm doing a little pr uh, primal scream therapy here. Grah! That's a Toad Spectator. Looks like she's here to make noise no matter who's fighting. I totally get it. Screaming your head off can be cathartic. And fun is fun at any volume. Waste him! That's a Toad Spectator. He seems like the kind of fan that comes to the Blitz Pit at, on the regular. Fighters go all out when they hear diehard fans like this guy. He cheers with everything he's got. Anyway. Let's go see if we can become a fighter ourselves. Time for us to go into the ring. <laughs> What's up? What's that, bub? You want to become a fighter. <laughs> well, if you're serious, you better go meet you with, with Mr. Grubba, the promoter. <laughs> Mr. Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. <laughs> Head on through. This is the backstage corridor. Compared to the Glitz Pit, this is so businesslike. There's security all over, so you can't just wander uh, around whenever you, wherever you want. <laughs> this is my new league locker room, bub. Sorry, you can't get in there. This guy's a Glitz Pit security. He has to keep watch on this particular area until this guy walks out. Okay, so I think all of the security have the same uh, things going on. <laughs> no one else is admitted. This guy's let's miss it. He has to keep watch over this particular. Okay. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> this is Major League lo Locker Room. You can't go in. What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Oh, alright. Go on in. Mr. Grubba's just inside. Our nation are you, son? And who'd let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you, your one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? Woo-wee! Dude, that dude changed a thing or two, son. I always got, got time for an up-and-coming. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters. All plaque. All primed and a raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, play, play me straight, son. You want to live the glor the glamorous life of a champ, don't ya? Uh, yes, darn skippity. Darn skippy. All right, all right, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot up for fancy, big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way for to fame and wit riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is d dang dynamite! Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for, for life. You reading me here, son? Dreams do come true. Even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the, what the winners say. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have us a little walk and talk. Come on now. I don't... Wait, was that hot dog always there? I don't remember. Now, how do you like this part? Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. You become a champ, son, and you get the key to this room. And, and that ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, this here, here we have the Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. 
What do you think, son? Uh, not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally san sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fires, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't one... There ain't but one world champion. Crawling, clawing your way up to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if, it, if there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it too, Pard. You got the eyes of the tiger there. You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name down here. Uh, sure, sign me up with that, and we're not even gonna read the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now, you're Mario. And a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Pard, it lacks a little punch as a fighter's name. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hoo-wee! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez! Oh, ain't that a beaut? Dang, if it ain't the, a stroke of genius, a name that good comes around once in a lifetime. Yeah, everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Well, now we got the business side out of the way. Jolene, could you come in a minute, darling? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him down to the minor league locker room. Alrighty. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Rubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. Well, here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting from the minor league, of course, as you just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log into this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubba will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick, then pick rank match. Oh, it has the GBA boot up sound effect right there. That's that's a nice attention to detail. <clears throat> well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fists, fists dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Use your first battle's gonna be up against the Goomba Bros. Don't worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though. So appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Oh, well, good luck, pard. Okay, your battle is reserved. At this point, you can just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops to the opponent's HP to zero first wins. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, you follow them. In this case, the condition was to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you lose the match, or don't satisfy the condition, your rank will stay the same. If you can get if you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at, the, shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Yep. Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. This is the minor league locker room. It's kind of, um, well, it's pretty disgusting. 
It's totally different from the first room they showed us. The old bait and switch. You think they made it totally gross so fighters would try harder to advance? That was a question. Okay. <clears throat> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. You know what, I think we'll do the match now and then we'll talk to everyone after. Squaring off next, folks, are the meteorite, the meteorite hardheads, the Goomba Bros, and a newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the Gray Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting up, all head up for the fight. Let's check in. How do, Goomba Bros? How are you all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Heh, <laughs> are you kidding me, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool, too. Who's this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes me mad, makes us mad. We're gonna teach that tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. My diggity day, fighting fans! This is the great Gonzalez now, striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. Who? Okay now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Real quick. Have a bump, punk! Oh no, he struck first. But he got because of Zap Tap. Hey, those total cowards! Those chickens attacked us before the bell rang. Oh, that's it. Come on, we're not losing to punks like them. Let's waste them. Ah, oh, quit crying, will ya? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where, where's our thank you? Heal to the crowd once. Yeah, there's a new remix. So first, I'm gonna swap to Coops. I'm gonna appeal to the crowd. And Power Shell. There we go, I finally got it to work. Gonzalez wins. Tell me, son, what was the first taste of victory like? That was savage. It was okay, I guess. What? That fight? What a joke. Listen to this guy. It's like a poet of the arena. I tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the great Gonzalez. Not too shabby for your first fight, Gonzalez. You got problems. Anyways, I'm heading out now. Go and get your fight money from Jolie. Here's your fight money of five coins, Mr. Gonzalez. Now I can afford a proper inn. Mario's ranking goes up to 19. You're ranked only up because you met the conditions. The next fight will not, will not be set up until you select rank match on the terminal. You can also check your current ranking on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. Have a, you have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Yo, Rook! How was your first fight? I'm King K, just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy's here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, Bob. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I'll give you advice, Bob. As Miss Jolie was saying, you better bomb obey Mr. Grubbo's conditions. If you can't clear the conditions and win, your rank won't go up, even if you win that match, Bob. Yeah, the man has, you know, some quirky speech going on, but his advice holds up most of the time. Not just sometimes, Bomb. Advice is always useful. Bah, Bomb. Right. Man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. Hey, <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not here so too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh, yeah. If you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. 
It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Clef, Cleftor. Greg, Clef, Cleftor, no, li no like make friends with mustache. Easy there, Cleft man. He isn't the friendliest guy, but you get used to it. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew. You need something? Ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me are gonna have to square off eventually, so good luck, man. Let's see. First, let's swap to Cabela, because I want more dialogue. Anything in here? Now I'm in the locker. Anything? Anything hidden? Nope. Oh, a dizzy dial. Yay. I like dizzy dials, clearly. This That's Bandy Andy. He's a competitor in this league, but he's never here. Maybe he just doesn't care about being a, the champion. <laughs> I do believe I'll go out for my regular stroll soon. Gruff, no closer. That's Cleftor. He might sound a bit gruff, but I think he's actually nicer than he sounds, you know? Maybe he's just a little shy. I am always looking for the best Bob Bob way to blow, m to blow myself up in the ring. You see, Gonzalez, as a fighter, you can't forget to entertain the crowd, Bob. That's Master Crash, the Bob, the Bob Bob. He gives really good advice most of the time. Isn't it like so totally nice to have a mentor who cares about you? That jump of yours is just insane, Double G Money. You have mad timing. That's King K, a fighter. His shell's yellow, but I think he's just a basic Koopa. He seems like a generally good guy, Mario. Plus, I dig the way he talks. Well, we basically have a free in throughout this entire chapter, so we're good to go. All right. Let's go ahead and get the next ma next match started. Well, boy howdy, Gonzalez. Fix it for a fight, huh? Okay, then. Your next opponent will be... Ranked 18 in the pit, Glitz Pit, the KP Koopas. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid swapping partners out. You gotta go with who you brought. Who, who brought you? A fight to the end, side by side. Now that's trauma. Now get in there and stand by, you pard. Hey, looks like your next next match is against me. Good luck, man. To both of us. Uh, it's probably best to bring Gubella anyway. <laughs> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. He's just gonna say the same thing. For our, next ma for our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Shell Ma Machines of Doom. Yes, a fight to the finish with the KP Koopas. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were gonna square off, and now it's on. The Great. Get yourself ready to battle! trying to listen to the music. Hmm. Honestly, not my favorite remix so far. That's a K that's a KP Koopa. It's a Koopa Troopa of slightly different color. Max HP 4, attack 2, defensive 1. Looks like its abilities are just like any Koopa, so he ought to be a piece of cake. Don't go easy just because, you know, keep, just just because you know King K, Mario. That's what friends are for. Oh yeah, Zap Tap's not going to work on him. So let's go ahead and take down Koopa. Ah, uh, Jump Man, making this so much faster.
That's a KP Paratroopa. It's a Koopa Paratroopa of a different color. HP 4, attack 2, defense 1. Its attacks are the same as your average garden variety Koopa Paratroopa. So just do the same thing as always. Stop on it, flip it, and drop its defense to zero. My head bonk is pretty effective against it too. Come on, let's get him. Oh wow, I get a defense boost. It's plus three, it's like, yeah, you're not taking damage. Well, time to finish it. ourselves a winner, the Gray Gonzalez. See, no biggie. A lot of the dialogue is going to be the same, so. Fight money for six coins. Your rank went up because you meet the conditions. Okay, same stuff. Now, if you excuse me, I must be going. Hey, way to hand out a beatdown out of there, man. You beat me straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. You know what I'm saying? Well, not much else we can do at the moment. It's always a good idea to heal up. Yeah, and I can skip through that. That's nice. Actually, uh, let me leave the room. Because I want to go gather that hot dog. It's been sitting on the. It's been sitting on that uh, ladder for a little while. I wonder why. I wonder if it's still good. Refills 5 HP, 5 FP. Hmm. This is Major League. And what's over here? Minor League locker room. You only enter your design. Okay. Hey there, Gonzalez. How's it going? Me? I've been doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, ever hear of the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit? Yes, this place has rumors and secrets and spades, but the Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Want to hear about the Seven Wonders or not? Hell yeah! They say there's a sealed wall in the minor league locker room. Some say the remains of fallen athletes are stored in there. They say in one of the arena's bathrooms, a man-eating toilet lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet is never sees anything again. They say there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor, but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say that groaning voice voices sometimes come from that second floor. That was the stairs of mystery. The haunted whole door. They say that a champion's room is haunted. Some say if you keep still in the room, you will hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost to the champion. Spooky ring rides. My friend's friend, my friend's friend's friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking uh, under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. The missing ones. They say sometimes fires disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say that the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away this in this way. Grubba and Jolene. Grubba is a strange one. His body is incredibly toned, even though he's past 60. He must have exceptional training regimen. Then, there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into, go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out, but she never did. Huh? You think it's stranger to have someone stalked out her bathroom? Good point. That, that, that is a good point. You know, it's possible that the Seven Wonders are just gossip and rumors. But I gotta tell you, I think they're real, and I think they're sketchy. 
I smell a rat behind all of this, and someday I'll solve all of these mysteries. Hey, if you ever want to hear more about this stuff, just ask the, just say the word, okay? Oh wait, there's something in here. Last stand. Okay. Well, let's head back and start another match. Nothing else we could really do. Just wanted to grab the hot dog and I guess the last stand badge. Alright. Exhibition match? Huh. I don't remember that. Now you fix it for a fight. We got the Pokey Triplets. In battle, I want you to avoid using any flower points. Okay, wait a minute. I can't use flower points. And we're going to be fighting against Pokies. I... Okay. I got to... I got to reset some of this. Wait, why even bother with this? I swap to Hammer Man. Yeah, that will work fine. No flower points, so we just gotta use the normal hammer. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner and the Spike Terror Triplets. Yep, a fight to finish with the Pokey Triplets. We ain't gonna lose the likes of you. Go ahead, touch us. It won't hurt too much. Alright. No FP. This is kinda why. Oh, right, because we fought this guy in the Piv on trials, I already got him recorded. So, let's just start with. We'll just use normal hammer. And we gotta do this the slow way. We, we could have just used Earth Tremor. It's good to super guard those because you can send it right back at him. Guard does way more damage to, than normal in that case. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, so the structure of this was like we do a match. Sometimes there'll be something going on in between, do another match, so on and so forth. Hey, what's cracking, G-Man? Did you just finish beating down some poor fools or what? You're looking good, man. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you? That room is absolutely off limits. You want to remain in our fight roster? Must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that, too. It's creepy. If you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the Gritz Blitz Pit. Understood? Again, dude? Man, you're just such a magnet for trouble. <laughs> Sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring the rules queen in here. Uh, don't sweat it, B Money. Jolene can just take that, take that toot and shove it up her nose. Why are you always chasing that girl anyway, man? Oh, you know, no particular reason. Now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. Yeah, so there'll be like little bits of world building sometimes going on sometimes we have to do something 
But this is typically the structure of chapter three. Let's just do another ranked match. What do we got? The dead bones. Uh, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. Okay. So. I think it means we have to spend FP on our partner. Not necessarily just have them do a basic attack. Which is fine. Oh yeah, I currently have Hammerman equipped. <laughs> Bone Bane Rockers. It, yep, a fight to the finish with the dead bones. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. We're gonna take the skin off your bones. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty sure we already have them tattled. So, I guess what we could do... Use a partner move at least once. Maybe it could mean Shell Toss, but I'm just gonna use Power Shell. Again, Koops can break dance. That makes him way better than Cooper. So is a winner, Greg Gonzalez. Uh, yeah. Here's your fight money and nine coins. Alright. You know, we can make way more money by doing the sleepy sheep trick. <laughs> so. And I heard you just knocked some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Man. You're real deal. The realest I've ever seen. Just keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you lip, you uh, you just tell them King K said to back it up. Biz how? Ah, it hurts. Keep quiet. My foot. Oh, you're just fine. Just shut up. I'm high pressure right there. Ouch. Do we have a gag? Maybe? Come on, get a grip, will you, mommy? Oh, the way there. Oh, sounds like so poor sucker. Just earned himself a trip to the hospital. Hey man, this is real sports sometimes, you know? This stuff happens. Just heal up. Start another match. Something interesting will happen. Alright, we're going up against Spike Storm. Get it done in five turns or less. You know, he, he, he's he got a date planning, you know, he can't be late, you know. Spike Storm, not sure what they're... Oh, is it just Lakitu's? Might be Lakitu's. <laughs> Luckily I have click change, so I can choose what I want. Yeah, lack of twos and spinies. The Midnight Spike Bombers. Yep, a fight to the finish with Spike Storm. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. We're gonna spike bomb you into submission, punks. Alright, I still have Hammer Man. Which, in this case, it's probably okay. So, tattle. That's a spiny. Basically, a spike cover Koopa. Ugh, looks painful. HP 3, attack 3, defensive 3. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them when they rolled up. So, when they go back to normal, do all the damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense drops to zero. That's the time to take them out. Jumping on them is just plain stupid. So, try using a PAL block or some other item. Well, we gotta beat this in five turns or less, so let's just go with Quake Hammer.
Oh, dang. Come on. <laughs> I like how they're laughing at me. That was not there in the original. Oh, well. Now, sad part is Mario can't do anything. Any Mario can't do anything. I, I seriously can't do anything. Okay, hold on. Let's try this. Flurry? Let's try Lip Block. Okay, that worked. And then I guess... We'll peel to the crowd. I could have used Earth Tremor. I could have done that. Again with this? There we go. Get out of here. I could have tried Gale Force, but that's a lot of FP. That was no fuss whatsoever. Yeah, uh, I could have gone with Earth Tremor, but I decided against it just in case. There's one that needs me to use a special... Then again, I could have used Sweet Tree if that was the case. Oh well. Hey man, check this! I heard an I heard the hot dog stand outside is getting a new menu item that uses a Mystic Egg. Did you know their hot dogs can restore your HP FP during the match? That's some serious nutrition. I'm not sponsored yet. Just excited about some probably amazing hot dogs. Yeah, snack on. Oh. Oh, okay. So. Does that mean we need to head out there now? Hold on. I, I don't know if I'm jumping ahead. Okay, you just say that. Okay. I don't know if I'm jumping ahead. I might be. Oh, look! It's Rockhawk being surrounded by the crowd. <laughs> Everyone wants a piece of the rock! It's a tough rock life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves the rock. Loves to rock. Okay, uh, hold on. Uh, I am out of water, and I need the water. <laughs> be right back. Okay. I'm gonna swap back over. All right. And what's one thing you could do with this crowd against Rockhawk? No. He's getting a lot of attention. I'm not a fan. You say anything different? Nope. Okay. He, you know, he's getting a lot of attention. You know, I, I don't like that. He's kind of a jerk, so uh, I'm going to take it out on him. I, I'm going to make him pay for being a jerk by taking it out on the Roaring Fans. All of you get out of here. Get out of here. 
Yeah, he he's not as cool as you think he is. Oh. Hey, you. That ain't cool. Don't beat all my fans just you uh, just cuz you ain't got none. Ah, uh, the champ, Rockhawk. He sure has a star quality you'd expect from the from the champ. But you know what? Who cares? Everyone knows we're going to be the next champions. Oh no. I just realized my um my uh camera is not is frozen. How come something always go hold on, let me try unplugging it and plugging it back in. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, webcam properties. Is it one of those things where I'm gonna have to like delete it and then like a new webcam? So if I do that, then I swap it back to HP. Swap it back to webcam. There, it's fixed. Oh wow. Why does this stupid stuff happen. Jeez. You know, you just put it in, like, intermission. Be like, you know what? I need to go get water. You know, that's the thing I need to do. But no. As soon as you do that, the screen freezes for some stupid reason. Can't you tell I really don't like PCs? No, stop it at once. This behavior is unacceptable in a... F in, in a food stuff. I insist you desist. No, please, come back. Someone help my rare imported egg has escaped. Please catch it. Did you say anything? Okay, no. It's a rare moment where he's not in front of the stall or behind the stall. So, uh, there we go. How dreadful. I'm, hope I'm helpless to catch it. To catch it, despite uh, its total lack of arms or legs. How, however, I shall make my famous spotted egg dog now. Who is me? I heard that incorrigible egg from an island in the south, where there were associated shipping costs. Oh, don't just stand there. Help me catch it. Sis. Usually in cases like this, I just kind of wait. Wait. I thought I hit him with the hammer. There we go. Absolutely unacceptable in a polite society. I insist you come down at once, egg. How am I supposed to reach you up there? Fly? Like a common sparrow? Polite society, I see. Okay. So we gotta find a way to gather, get that egg. Oh right, I could, I could have done this already. There we go, new staircase. You know, if I just. Don't fall off. You know, it'll be good. Power plus partner. Okay. Wait a minute. There's a star piece there. But I can't get it. Gonna have to come back later. On. Gosh, what a colorful egg. Must be a good one, huh? I mean, you've seen it jump. So talented.
Yeah, that's a bit better. Sorry. <clears throat> but Jeepers Creepers, I sure wouldn't want to try to eat it. I mean, ew. I don't eat moving things. Let's hurry up and grab it and give it back to Mr. Hoggle. Huh? Did you hear that, Mario? You don't want to be eating little eggy waggy. It's so adorable. What should we do, Mario? Should we help? Let there be hot dogs! Come on, Mario. That's just tasteless. Seriously. Don't scare the little guy. Come on. Try not to be so childish, will you? Mr. Hot Dog Stand Guy, it looks like this egg doesn't want to be eaten. Is it okay? It's okay to let it go, right? Oh, very well, fine. I suppose there's not much market for cuisine that jumps anyway. Awesome! Did you hear that, little eggy waggy? You're free! See you around! Huh? What's that? What is it now, eggy? You want us to follow us? Is that it? I'm pretty sure our little buddy here wants to tag along with us, do we? No way! Seriously, Mario? I wondered about you so I wonder about you sometimes. We're taking this egg, and that's that. You hear that, little eggy? Just make sure not to get in our way, okay? Well, now that that's settled, let's just get back to our fights. Alright, back in we go. And let's just, oh. Okay, he's just gonna hang out there, okay. Wait, Gumboa, do you say anything different? Oh, no, wait, hold on. You're just talking about the... Oh, never mind. Okay. No Gumboa for the egg. All right, who are we fighting? The Handed Overs. Don't use special moves. I think that just means the star power move, so I think we're fine. Yep, a fight to fi to the finish with the handed overs. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. <laughs> We're awful quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Let's go. Now, I think they mean don't use star moves, the crystal stars. Oh. Okay, hold on. Battle. That's a big bandit. Basically a boss among ordinary bandits. HP 8, attack is 3, defense is 0. Unlike under other bandits, he'll steal your items, as well as your coins. Totally weak. If you guard well when he charges at you, he'll blow by without stealing anything. If he robs you, you won't get your item back unless you beat him right then. He'll, he'll run. All right, well, uh, no special. I did not get my FP restored. Well. We're doing this the slow way. Okay. I really should have Mario in the front. Okay, no, we gotta stop that. And there is no way I can stop it. So... In this case... I can't use specials. Let's try the Dizzy Dial. You know what? We'll take it. So... They won't be able to run away. Oh, uh, never mind. They can run away. 
If only I had Mario in the front. Oh no, my T! How dare you take it from me! Well, we made it. So my money's been taken. And my tea has been taken. Oh well. At least it wasn't like an ultra shroom or something. If only I had the FP. Did you hear the ladies, G Man? My, bo my boys say they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. She likes juice. I like juice. We already have so much in common. Check her out for me, that man. I don't think that means anything. Like, I, I, I guess we'll go and check, but I don't think that actually means anything. You know, he's saying, go check out this girl at the juice shop, and we... I mean, we've been in the juice shop before, but... I don't remember this actually being anything. I guess we'll look. Let's see... Okay. It's Mush, the first Blitz Pit champion, the fire long since lost. He's shown truly and brightly. Many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. And that's it. So, same stuff, yep. So, like... There was nothing to that. Like I said, uh, I, it was kind of pointless. You don't have to actually do that. I think I kind of understand what the point of that is. At least on two different levels, but we'll get there later. Anyway, start the next match, and I actually have FP back this time. Alright. We got Mind Bogglers. Void, don't use items. Okay, that's easy. Easy! I still have Hammer Man equipped. <laughs> This put security has to keep watching. Yeah, it says the same thing. Okay. Oh, wait. No, there was something at the very end. You can tell this guy works out all the time. He's... Oh, buffer than the fi other fires. Okay, never mind. He didn't say anything. Okay, whatever. And the Grey Entanglers. Let's... Yep, a fight to the finish with the Mind Bogglers. Come on, Mario. Let's get this over with. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Okay. That's the best way to handle this. Don't use items. So I think what we should do is... Why do I not have fire drive? Uh, power smash it is! Alright, well, anyway. Give her a cloud. Alright. And he should move down. Yep. That lets me attack with the hammer. We'll just get it done. Easy. 
Easy. No items used. I should get fire drive equipped. Actually, I should see what the next match is first. Well, I, okay, wait. It depends on what's going to happen in between. Excuse me, I must be going. Listen, man. Keep it under your hat. But I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, you know? So after the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool to quit and run, that's for sure. But you know what? That's life, Double G, man. Listen, you stay cool, okay? Promise me you won't forget you... Uh, promise me you won't forget you once... Oh, forget you once new King K. Okay. Oh, I see why I probably didn't have Fire Dragon Foot. Uh, I guess all I really would need is Quake Hammer and Fire Drive out of the two. Unless I want to get rid of Happy Heart or Zap Tap. You know what? I could get rid of Zap Tap and just have more hammers to work with. Yeah. Or you know what? Get rid of Happy Heart and have Zap Tap. I mean, Happy Heart, like, has kind of helped me here and there, but it's not a game changer, so I'm okay with dropping it. Zap Tap can be useful. Alright. The Punk Rocks. Oh, I can't use my hammer. Never mind, then. This is why I probably should have waited. Okay, let's unequip all my hammer stuff. Get rid of Hammer Man, have Jump Man. Then. Yeah, that'll be okay. And I guess I could throw Happy Heart back in. Alright, we got Jump Man. the clefts? The Green Torture Squad. Yes, it's a fight to the finish with the punk rocks. Okay. Of course it had to be no hammers. So... Oh, hold on. I don't think Zap Tap will matter, so we'll just do this. Ah, that's a Hyper Bald Clef. Like Clefs and Bald Clefs, this is also a rock monster. HP 3, Attack 2, Defense 2. This Hyper version can build up its energy, boosting its attack to 8 on the next turn. It has low HP, but its body is rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. It says here that item attacks are pretty effective, but it before it goes Hyper. We have two options. I could try... Ah, we've got a gradual syrup. Thank you. Okay, we have two options that I can think of. We could try... One at a time. And then probably have, like, Cooper or Coop's attack, maybe, for slow damage. Like, I could lower defenses... I could just do a big powerful hit. That's lowering their attack. Sleepy Stomp. Or. We just Earth Tremor. I think this is a good opportunity to use it. See, I didn't use my hammer. we go. Oh, I, I just noticed one of them had a Quake item. 
I didn't use the hammer. I think that was just probably the fastest option I could do. Now he's gonna want me to use a star power move next. Okay, 12 money. Let's see. What's next? Let's just move on to the next one right now. Uh, fix the fight. Next opponent will be the bob -omb Squad. Don't, don't jump. No jumping. So it was get rid of that. Don't need happy heart and fire drive. No jumping. You hear me? You're not the jump man anymore, Mario. You're not allowed to do the thing you're known for. All right. The Big Bomb Boomers. Yes. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Bomb Squad. Let's get this over with. Here we go, Gonzalez Bomb. I have advice. Just give up now, Bomb. No jumping. We already have Tattle, so Fire Drive. Easy. Just make them blow themselves up. I could have a Goombella. Uh, I could have had her like appeal to the crowd. Probably would have should have done that. Oh well. Quite lonely without King K around, Bob. No lonely, him too weak. Now him not here, sound lonely to Clefter. You are in bomb denial, Clefter. I saw you weeping in that locker, bob -omb. Well, here we are, this is your locker room. You're starting the minor league, of course, and you just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy little room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log onto this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubba will then dis will then decide who you'll match up against. You have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? And pick rank match. Use the terminal now. Don't you understand basic instructions, Sir Swoop? Oh, howdy, Sir Swoop. Ready to get your wings dirty? Huh? There you go, son. I got a trick for you. Your first battle is going to be up against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, we want to get the crowd fired up, so do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. If you got any questions about detailed rules, just ask Miss Lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, Bard. Okay, the battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. The fight is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP zero wins. Oh, for whatever. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to do a triple flip and then meow. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, your rank goes up, and you battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you get your rank up to 11, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Okay, good. Now for now, just wait until security comes to get you, Sir Swoop. Hi, guys. Yeah, my name is Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean. Nice to meet you. you yes, you. Sir Swoop, time for your battle, though. Follow me. Okay, security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Well, what's, uh... There's a new rookie in town. Go ahead 
heal up and start our next match. Oh, dog my cats, if it ain't the Great Gonzalez fixing for a fight, huh? Yuck, 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 yuck. Yo wee! You're gonna love this. Your next opponent is. Rank 10 of the Grits Pit, the Iron Adonis Twins. That's, that's right, you're darn tootin'. You're finally make, gonna make your go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great fa things from you, so don't, so don't you go a letting us down now. now. Now listen, son, in this battle, be sure to use a partner skill at least once. All right. Let's do our match. We can go to the Major Leagues. This is our chance. We'll be one step clo closer to becoming the champ. And now, today's main event. The Major League awaits the 11th ranked Greg Gonzalez. But only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's get the merciless executioner in here, folks. The Great Gonzalez! Gonzalez, kick their iron tails! Don't you dare lose! Love that mustache! Hoo-wee! Great Gonzalez, how you feeling? Okay, I guess. Just perfect, thanks. Like it, like a doof. Whoa, Nelly! You heard the fella, folks? He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Good gravy! Iron him out! Whoa, sp are sparks legal? Yup, yup. Your challenger is a real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Donuts twins, he says. More like paper dog face bros. And they stink. And then he said, I bet they can't... I bet, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Um, yeah, that's what he said. Out, outy belly buttons run in their family. Sh uh, stink wads, and so on. Yep. What? How dare he know mom has an Audi? That jerk. We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink ya. Oh, and one more thing. Only oh, smelly stink wads call other people stink wads. Understand, stink wad? Simmer down there, bro. You, Stinkwad, you're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See those bods? Sign iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically what I'm telling you is that whatever you do, whatever you try will be completely useless. Think, what it, think that over in a very short time. You have left with a functional brain. <laughs> Alright. Well, we got we gotta use a partner ability. We're gonna do it. We're gonna make the major lead if we, if we win. Get psyched, Mario. <laughs> Give it up now. Well, stink ones, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. And I will do just that. I will do a partner move. We'll tattle. That's an iron cleft. That guy is scary. Period. HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack will work against iron clefts. It says nothing in the world has a is as hard as an iron cleft, so its defense is impenetrable. If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. But you know what? I'm going to appeal to the crowd. I didn't get the timing right if Super Guard does work. Let's tattle the other one. It's Iron Clef. The green shoes mean this one must be the younger brother. Yep, same thing. Other than the opening text, is basically the same thing. And like Gumboa said, we can't do anything, so we can just run.
Got ourselves a winner, the Iron Adonis Twins. <laughs> How'd you like that? We tried to tell you, but no. You want another piece of pummel pie? Just have a bath and come on back, punk. Yeah, we couldn't do anything. We get one coin for at least participating. We still stay at 11 because we lost. Now, if you excuse me, I must be going. We didn't go down in rank. Hey, check it out. Our little achy friend is gone. Didn't see that coming, or, or going for that matter. Where do you think you went? Or it went. Okay. Yo! Yo, what's up? I'm a Yoshi! Gonzalez! Check me out! Thanks to you, I hatched safe and sound. Thanks, man. What? You were that cute little eggy waggy? Oh, that's wild. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You got you want the, a crystal star? Anyways, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest, just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of the egg. So I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool. Okay. So, I know what I have to do whenever there's a name choice. Ooh. It's gonna be Oogump. Yes. I was curious on what if it was gonna be the Switch font, or if it was gonna be the normal in-game font, how it was in the GameCube version. Makes me wonder how next chapter's gonna go. Hmm, ooh gum, huh? Not too bad, dude, not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage. He'll answer to ooh gum. All right, X, press X to ride Yoshi. You move much faster while riding Yoshi, try moving around. While jumping, hold A to float through the air for a brief time. Use the ability to cross otherwise impossible gaps. Stop riding Yoshi by pressing X. I can food. So yep, I mastered them. In battle, he can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground power move, or use gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. So the thing about Yoshi is, I'm assuming it's still the same in the remake, because why would they change it? Yoshi can be different colors, and what's determined by the color choice you get is how long it takes you from when you get the egg to losing this fight. How long does it take you to get here? And the green Yoshi is the fastest result. I don't remember the time frames, but like, it's either means we did this super quickly, or we spent so long taking our time to get here that the timer like wraps around to the top. Now, if I am correct, the colors were green, red, blue. I think there was a pink, white, and black. And I think that's all there was. I do not know if there are other colors in this remake. I would be curious if they added, like, one or two more colors into the pool for Yoshi. I think that would be kind of cool, but I don't think they did. And if they did, I would be curious if they actually... I would be curious to know if they actually did that. But anyway, let's do our ranked match again. We got the Iron Donna's Twins. Use your partner skill at least once. And because we already tattled, we could just do the fight right away. <laughs> and school, you can name Yoshi however you want.
for our next battle, Great Gonzalez and the Armor Harriers. Yep, the fight to the finish with the Iron Adonis twins. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a beating? These ultra hard, these ultra hard bods just can't lose. <laughs> All right. Gonzalez, let me at him. We're gonna take these punks this time. <laughs> Stink one challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partner, as if that's gonna help him. So how much you wanna bet that they stay at this rank, probably by Gubba's request or mandatory request, whatever? just to be a wall for minor league characters to not be able to move up. I think this is on purpose. But first... Let's eat. Ouch! You spiked me right in the... That really hurt! Our iron bodies are pointless and pointy nastiness are being used against us! No fair! Oh, dang bro, has he discovered our weak points? Well, uh, Martin, you can't do anything, so... Yeah, Yoshi will say. Oh, uh, he's in danger. Why don't you eat them? There's a stylish in there somewhere, and I can't remember exactly where it is. We did it. It was that easy. Whoa. Do we have to go back to the minor league now, bro? I think I'm gonna be sick. Congratulations, Great Gonzalez! With this win, you made it to the major league! That, folks, was what I call a wild and a wooly fight. A diggity dang doozy. Keep it up, kid. You're going places. I can tell ya. Hooey! Come now, folks. Give it up. We got a new major leaguer. Let's hear it out. For Let's hear it for him. You know, it probably wouldn't be that hard for the Iron Clefts to get back into the major league. They probably just need to wait one more fight for, you know, Mario. Get one more rank. And then they could probably just easily take down the new number 10, you know? And Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Grubbo wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Mr. Grubba, I brought Mr. Gonzalez as you requested. Mr. Lee, you mind make mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. I apologize, Mr. Grubba. Don't you worry your blue little head about none about it none. Now, what uh, what I want again? Something about Gonzalez. Oh yeah. Gonzalez, you old soul so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and dang, I love it when I'm right. You keep on putting touch, uh, touches, touches in them seats. Oh, touches. Okay. You put, you keep putting touches in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little something, something for you. Go on, take it. Oh wow. Got 30 coins for that. So yeah, something else that's been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. No big deal, son. But hey, someday, if you become champ, I'll get you a new one. Something hot pink, maybe, with some frills or something. You'll look uh, straight. You'll look a sight, son. There we go. I don't know why, but whatever. Anyway, that's something for another day, Pard. Take a powder, okay? Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. There we go. We're moving. We're moving on up in life, baby. This is the Major League locker room. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are, are but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you excuse me, I must be going now.
what's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh. I love how the crystal star is like sticking out when is especially when he went to the side. Also the fact that he had to turn like flatter to get into the door. That's kind of hilarious. That wasn't the case, I don't think. Studly guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, Skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez? Man, I came all the way over here for you? <laughs> what a waste of time. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the champ's belt. What the? Hey, you get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked. I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. How, how would you know? You were just hatched. Hey, you think you could just smack talk the rock hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy no belt having wimps. Did your mama teach you any manners? Whoa, sorry yellow dude. I didn't mean it to rip you on you big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're, o you're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. If I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the rock! Wow, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? Well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointing to Glyphsville, right? If that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it. Then where the heck is the real one at? Is that your mailbox XP go SP going off? Where'd you get that email from? If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions. X. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. Gonzalez, even if the belt is a fake, I think we should try to take the championship anyway. It's the best way to find what's really going on here in the Glitz Pit. But yeah, now that we're finally in the major leagues, things are starting to get interesting in terms of like the back, like the main plot, I guess. I couldn't skip that one for whatever reason. Okay. In a second. Let's see what Goodbell has to say. This is the Major League locker room. Everyone here dreams of reaching to the top. You can almost feel the intensity of their ambition in the air. It's weird. Speaking of weirdness, there's always someone in the bathroom. Creepy. You know, it's kind of necessary to have access to a bathroom now and then. I'll be the champ someday, you bet. Uh huh, that's right. Just like the big legendary champion, Prince Mush. That guy's Spiky Joe. He's a Major Leaguer, so we'll see him in the ring. He's super proud of his hard shell and the pointy spike on top of it. Whatever. Destroy the foe before you. That's the only concern of a true warrior. That's the coop. That's the coopinator. He definitely looks tough. When we fight against him, it'd be a good idea to have a strategy from the get-go. She's not wrong, you know. Hey, where'd you get that hammer? You're biting my style. I'm the hammer guy. That's a hammer. That's hammer jammer. He must be one of the strongest major leaguers. He's got a hammer like you do. I think that hammer is really important to him. You're pretty tough, baby, but you're gonna have to have. But you're really gonna have to power up to win here. That's shell shock. He seems to be totally on top of his game. For some reason, though, I think he's just a big softy. Maybe I'm thinking too much. Anything in these lockers? <laughs> Here. Ooh, we got Ice Storm. We can use that. Anything else? Hey, there's a Power Punch. Alright. Can't go in. Occupied. Well, can't use the bathroom. Uh, how many Shine Sprites do I have? Just the one? Okay, we can't power up. We can't power up Oogum, sadly. But we might as well just. Continue on. We can't do anything yet. 
Alright. Our next opponent is the Tiny Spinies. One spe use one special move. Okay. That's easy. We'll have Yoshi out and about. Actually, I think I will need Goombella. Never mind. It's time for your next match. Come with me. At the moment, we'll just continue on cr climbing the ranks. Wait, I do think th the major leagues is when things start really start getting interesting with the main plot. The Thorny Demons. Yep, the fight to the finish with the Tiny Spinies. Wait, it's gonna be fun poking fun at you. All right, so let's start with tattling. I don't know if it has to be done afterwards, but you're probably getting a ton, ton of trials, but yeah. That's a red spike top. It's the most well protected of the buzzy beetle species. HP 5, take attack of 3, and defense is 4. Yep, this guy is hard. It has a really high defense, and fire explosions don't hurt it at all. We could just find a way to flip it over. Sunder's side has a defense of 0. That spike, what a pain. There's gotta be a way to flip it over. So, you could have Quake Hammer. That would work great. Piercing Blow works too. Uh, if you didn't have either of those equipped, or, you know, you have hand, uh, Jumpman equipped, I guess your next best bet would be to use Yoshi and use Gulp two times. But we have to use a special move, so, or Tremor it is. I can't think of, like, any other way you could do this. Spike Guard has not... I have not seen Spike Guard, so jumping's out of the question. There we go. Get out of here. So far, EXP hasn't been that great because most of the low-level fights have been basically just enemies we've already fought before. So now we're finally getting some EXP. Ah, 15 coins. Nope, same stuff so far. Okay, nothing. Wait. No, I, I don't need that. It doesn't recover star points, so let's just move on to the next thing. Uh, okay. Up against the poker faces. Use a partner skill at least twice. Okay. That's easy. We'll probably just have Mario appeal to the crowd. <laughs> All right, time to move on. Next match. Okay. The ultimate weapons. Yep, a fight to, f to the finish with the poker faces. <laughs> You're gonna be coleslaw, kid, and that ain't good. Okay, we have to use partner skills twice. But I've already used Tattle. It has to be partner skills. I don't think if I use gulp, that'll be too much. Oh, let me tile check. For defense. 
Okay, he has four defense. Okay, let me swap to Coops very quick. If I use Shell Toss, is that a single one? I guess there's no way to know. I'm just gonna kill. Actually, I'm just gonna normal guard. Okay, so we're gonna find out to Shell Toss count. Yes, it does. So when it says partner skills, it could be the normal move. Okay. I wasn't sure. Okay, now that I know that, what we can do now is let's go to Uga. And we'll go. Oh! I... Okay, never mind. I thought you could do that. Uh, I thought it, he wouldn't get as close. Never mind. Okay. Then I guess I would have to Earth Tremor? Actually, no. I can... I think I can Quake Hammer. Because I'm not getting close to him. Yeah, there you go. Okay, made it work. Double EXP. Not the best fight for it, but hey. Hey, we already got our double EXP on a boss already, so I'll take it. <laughs> Five money, sixteen coins. Don't because you're not conditions. You must be going. Ah, we got another email. It's also weird how the Yoshi kid just knows so many things going on, even though he just hatched. Go to the watering hole outside the Glitz pit. It's from our mystery ex dude. Go some go to some watering hole, huh? Okay, whatever. I'll give anything to know who this dude is. Before we do that, let's just get my heal right now before I forget. Alright. And we finally have a way to just speed through. And I noticed there's a uh, little uh with the Yoshi kid, there's like some sort of uh, startup before he moves. See how he has to like catch up to speed, like from standstill. Like it takes a little bit for him to get fast enough. That was never the case. But anyway, and we have posters because we're in the major league. Right, the watering hole. Shop. Oh, the mysterious woman in here. Do you have something different? No, 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 no. Oh, that lovely no, 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 young woman. She is a she is a biscuit parlour mare, duh, or one tough cookie, as you say. Oh, I can't even sleep. The pink spots on her oversized head invade my very dreams. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yeah, that's the mustache I've been looking for. Or waiting for. Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and note by the door a bit ago. Said, look for a thick stashed man named Gonzalez and give him this. And this is this. The Super Hammer. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. So nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting that Super Hammer. Now you can use a wicked cool new technique. Let's get to practicing it. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate the L stick or the left stick until your body twists up. Then release B to perform your super hammer technique. The key is to rotate a lot before releasing B. Oh, excellent, Mario. You're so awesome. Are you clear on the controls? Yep. 
Okay, great. You mastered the super hammer. With the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this. Oh gee, I almost forgot. You can use the super hammer in battle. Plus, your hammer attack power is boosted now. Well, see you later, Mario. Good luck on your quest. Finally, Hammer Man's more worth it. So far as I so far as I could tell, that's Hammer's a new model. The Hamwack 2005. Okay. Real nice hammer all around. Solid craftsmanship. Good grip. High bonk bonkability. The commercials for this uh, thing say that the hammer chooses its user. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave you gave this to you must be a big fan. But why leave it in a juice shop? Isn't that odd? I mean, it's not that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. More emails. Smash the blockade in the locker room. Blockade in the locker room? Huh. Wonder what's behind it. So we need to go all the way to the minor league. Because there was a big block there. It's so nice being able to run around everywhere now with Yoshi Kid. Oh, uh, Gonzalez, isn't it? I got word from you that you somehow fell back down to the minor league again. Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. You're minor league again? That doesn't make any sense. Huh. Okay, I think that's different dialogue. I think. Because... If I remember correctly in the GameCube version, or at least, you know, the English version of it, I think he's like, you want to enter the minor league locker room? Why do you want to do that? I mean, I won't stop you. Like, he questions why you're doing it. It seems like in this one, someone, you know, someone's rigging it to make it seem like he's in the minor league. I don't know if that's 100% correct. But I think that's different dialogue. Hey, Mr. Stinkblood, what are you doing here? That's the older of the Iron Adonis twins. You can tell he's older by his red shoes. I don't think they took their loss to you too well, Mario. I'd be careful around them. If you want to fight outside the ring, I'll give you a fight, you big jerk. That's Sir... Uh, okay, I, I see the problem here. That's Sir Swoop. He just got on board here. Hey, now he's the... He, now he's the newbie. He definitely knows how quick the turnaround is when new people come in. Oh, let's... No, not the older. That's the younger of the Iron Dawn's twins. He and his brother totally hate you. Isn't it a rule that the older brothers wear red shoes and the younger brothers wear green? Kinda is, apparently. Definitely in the Mario universe. Mr. Gonzalez, you're back in the minor league. What's the matter, Bob? Did you leave something in here, Bob? Grr, is, is, is Mustache here to laugh at Cluffdor? Crack. Break this open. Hmm. So we need to jump up. Jump up here. There we go. Yoshi? Okay, you know, actually do that near the edge of the... There we go. We found a dubious doc... We found dubious documents. Whoa, Gonzalez! That's some kind of scientific paper on the crystal stars. Who'd be investigating on those things besides us? They even took pictures. The belt was fake, but the real stars gotta be here somewhere. Who'd leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. Hmm. You again. Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the minor league locker room. Major league athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's highly appropriate to bash down our walls. Our, our walls. Hmm. I'll just be confiscating this. Thank you very much.
Octane! What's with her? We busted our humps getting that information. Some people just gotta rain on our parades. Well, at least we know the Crystal Star's here. Do they say, do you say the same thing? Yep, okay. Well. I guess that's that. Just move on then. You know what? I have not saved in a while. Okay. Let's just do the next match. Nothing else to do at the moment. Boy, howdy. I'm fixing for a fight. Our next opponent is the Shell Shockers. I want you to wrap it up at five turns or less. Alright, this will be easy. I think, since we're dealing with the Shell Shockers, let's go back to Jumpman. And I can have Happy Heart back in. I think we could keep Yoshi. Or Ugump, whatever. But maybe we need to swap to Gabella and Tattle. If I'm desperate for a win, I could Earth Tremor. Alright. The Turtles of Hurdle. Yep, the f a fight to the finish with the Shell Shockers. Let me at him. Yeah, bring it. You ready for a bean? So called Great Gonzalez. Don't think I'm gonna take it easy on your baby. Okay. Five turns. Okay, so yeah, we do need to tattle. We'll get Gimbella in here. Let's tattle the one in the back. That's a shady Koopa. It, it's yet another member of the Koopa Troopa family tree. Or the Koopa family tree. Eight, HP 8, attack of 3, defensive 1. The difference between them and other Koopas, they can attack from their backs. That's not all. While on their backs, their attack gets boosted, and they are terrifi use a terrifying technique. Ah, oh, it's pretty tricky. No wonder they're called Shady Koopas, huh? So, I think what I should do... Because... This would only deal a total of 6 damage, so I think what I should do instead... Let's see if we can put him to sleep. There we go. That stops him from doing anything. Okay. So since he's distracted, well, I guess I'll tattle then. That's a shady paratrooper. It's a shady Koopa with wings, obviously. HP A, attack three, defense one. Knock off its wings and it's a Shady Koopa. Unlike typical Koopas of Paratroopas, its attack jumps up, jumps when its foot on its back. This also says that it has a move that hits you and your partner at once. Is that possible? Uh, I guess the best thing to do is just beat it quickly after we flip it. Oh, is it bingo time? And I failed. Okay, it's all good. Uh, that guy's is gonna be asleep for a little while, so I think what we'll... I think we can just put this other one to sleep. So just for something different, let's get Yoshi out. Let's get Ugum out here. So with, uh... Do you remember Bao, how it was a multi-hit move? Oh. And, uh... Multi-hit moves that uh, it's one HP per attack, so I think Yoshi could d deal a total of four damage right now. But because he has defense, it's not worth it at the moment. So we'll just do this. There we go. And let's just do a normal jump. So he can attack from his back. I 
I should put him to sleep. Oh well. We almost got this. Yeah, four hits. I could have also used gold. That would have worked too. Done. Oh, really? One more star point? We would have got to level up there. Gonzalez! Whoa, Nelly! I don't believe my eyes, folks! The Iron Adonis twins are in ri are in a rage! You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're gonna pay for it! Uh, a little tight from your match. Great stink wad. Too bad. Prepare for pain. See, like, major leagues are already getting more interesting. Alright, so we gotta use Gulp twice, but we have both been weakened. Uh, let's start with Sweet Tree, because I need the healing. Not so much the FP, but really the HP. There we go, that'll help. Alright. Now Yoshi can start gulping. There we go, I got it. I got the time uh, I got the time in there. Right there, I was pressing A and B at the same time for guard and super guard. I wonder if that's the better strat. Okay. Let's appeal. Appeal to the crowd. And... Whoa, hold on. Go. There we go. There's our level up. Finally, it's been a while. Let's have more batch points. Now, normally, if we were playing the original Paper Mario, this is the cap for batch points. But I already know this game lets you equip way more. We are now a B-list star. Next battle, we got a bigger crowd, and the stage will get bigger. Very nice. Ugh, lost after all that? We reek. Ooh wee! That's our great Gonzalez, friends and neighbors! Kid don't even blink when the Iron Dance twins barge in and attack. Woo! Tough! He's too dang tough! Yeah, this kid's only bound for bigger things, folks. Until next time, everyone! See ya! Seventeen coins. What, do we get anything extra for that extra fight? We met the conditions, yes. What, we don't get anything extra for that second match? Come on, that what a ripoff. It's because it wasn't an official match. Keep sticking your nose in where, where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat. Man, that dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex, buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? Well, we don't have any other things we could do at the moment. So let's just move on to our next match. Okay, next fight. The fuzz. Now, this is uh, in this battle. I want you to appeal to the crowd three times. Okay, we can make that work. Appeal to the crowd three times. Hmm. Let's see how many enemies there are. Oh, I have Zap Tap too. Oh, 
Uh, the bottom was vacuums. Yep, a fight to, to the finish with the fuzz. Miark, Miark, we'll suck up your souls, Miark. I have Zap Tab. That can actually, that will just stop them from being able to do anything. Yeah, I feel through the crowd three times and I need to tattle. I need to be able to tattle twice. So let's just have Mario heal. At least for now. And we're gonna swap to Gumbella. And tattle. That's a green fuzzy. As you can see, it's a fuzzy. And it's green. Duh. Max HP 5, attack 3, defense is 0. This is similar to a normal fuzzy, so it replenishes its own HP as it sucks out ours. Ew, that's just the grossest thing ever. If you don't find that idea gross seriously, there's something wrong with you. The main difference between this and other fuzzies is that this one multiplies. You know, I bet this thing would look great sitting next to a gold fuzzy. I, this is why I like Zap Tap. Sometimes they just can't do anything. Like, this is the fun aspect of Zap Tap. Anyway, let's heal. A little tattle. That's a flower fuzzy. Wow, what a total pretty fuzzy, don't you think? HP 6, attack 3, defense 0. This thing attacks by bonging in and sucking out FP. How uncool. We need FP. Once it charges up its own FP, it uses magical attacks. Better beat it before it does. Oh, I just got it. It's a flower fuzzy because it sucks your FP. Flower points. Duh. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and you know try that. It's totally going to work, I swear. And that guy keeps multiplying. Here's the thing, I can literally I can literally have this be Mario does absolutely nothing. Although sometimes they get attack the partner. Okay. So I gotta appeal to the crowd one more time. Okay. And now I think what we'll do is we'll just swap to Koops. And we'll go ahead and power sh power shell. There we go. Let me get them all weakened. Yeah, go ahead, keep multiplying. So we're gonna work. Hey, Flower Fuzzy's gone. I mean, this is just too funny. Mario wins by doing absolutely nothing. And we're good to go. Take him out, Peach. Alright. Easy. So the winner. Anything new happening in between now? Five money, eighteen coins. Same stuff. That is the. This is kind of the annoying part about chapter three. There's just a lot of sameness going on, I guess. Hey, you, Gonzalez. Jolene brought you a piece of cake from a fan, I guess. Ooh. Yeah, we'll, we'll have it. It looks pretty good. You could probably get a quick energy boost from it. Yeah, we'll eat the cake. All right, cake time. We got a full recovery. That was a nice treat. Oh, okay, our next fight is the Magic Koopa Masters. This is something that's about Avo no swapping partners. Okay. 
No swapping partners. Let's have Goombella out, because I know I'm going to need to tattle. <laughs> Let's just start our fight. Underworld Servants. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Magic Koopa Masters. <laughs> you fool. We would do, would do well to fear our dark magic. <laughs> Alright. Don't swap partners. So let's just start with tattling on them. That's a red magic Koopa. Uh, it's a Koopa wizard dressed in red. HP 7, attack 4, defense 0. Besides using offensive magic, it can also use magic to boost attack and defense. Once alone, this wizard uses magic to multiply. The fact that you can't tell which is the real one after it multiplies is super annoying. I have to say though, that shade of red is definitely not its color. 7 HP, I can only... I deal 6 damage. So I think what I could do... Okay, wait a minute. I normally deal four. Doing power jump makes me do a total of six. So if I use Sleepy Stomp. Oh no, I got confused because I have Jump Man. I would have been able to get the KO with power jump. Okay, never mind. Oh, okay. Can't do anything when they're invisible. Tattle. That's a white magic Koopa. It's a Koopa wizard dressed in white. HP 7, attack 4, defense is 0. It attacks with magic and can replenish its allies' HP. Better hit it first, huh? Well, this also says it will use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone, which is totally annoying, because then you can't tell which is the real deal from the copy. It's bingo time! Uh, I did it wrong. Okay. Oh, well. Let's try this again. Power jump. There we go. Wait, it does seven damage. It didn't do eight. Interesting. Okay, lately I've been pressing A and B at the same time. So I think if you don't... I think when I do that, if I fail the super guard... It just automatically applies to the normal guard. I could be wrong, though, so... So far, that has been kind of working okay. But, you know, I'm not sure. I guess I'll just defend. I don't need to appeal. Said I guarded, but I don't know if that's right. Oh! Why did I... Tattle... That's a green magic Koopa. It's a wizard. It, it's a Koopa wizard dressed in green. HP seven, attack four, defense is zero. Has magic attacks that can also use, and can also use magic to make itself or allies electrified or vis invisible. Oh, this also says it will use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone, which is totally annoying because you can't tell the real deal from the copy. Well, let's get power jump. And with this attack boost, I'm pretty sure we'll win. Ten damage. <laughs> All right. What's happening, Mario? Bowser, what are you doing here? Whoa! Another fighter storming in, screaming his fool, screaming his fool's head off. Fool head off about something. Gonzalez has a lot of lots of foes, folks. Some who don't even know his name. Will he live? Word on the street was that some mustache doofus was in Gritsville. And looky here! 
talking about perfect timing. And now all of these fools get to watch me murder, murderize you. Hell yeah, fight with Bowser. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you, and I have a witness. And I have witnesses. All right, let's start with Tattle. That's Bowser, but what's he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse. HP 30, attack a three, defense of one. He's uglier. He's uglier than I expected. He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out. It'll make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus your attention on beating him down, Mario. I need healing. Ah, uh, dang it, of course. Let's see. I think I get the full heal. Yeah. Oh, no, not full heal. But 9 HP, that's close enough. Alright. So, he has a defense of 1. I have no clue if Sleep Stomp will work on him. But let's just immediately try a soft stomp. There, his defense went down. Now let's try... Ground Pound. There, that way he can actually fight. Thanks, Zap Tap. How much damage did that give me? Or did I take three? Do I heal again? Yes, I think I do want to heal again. Actually, you know, Bowser is actually one of the bigger threats right now. Just Yoshi attack. We'll let you jump attack. There we go. Try to build up that heal too. Well. Good. Now I am going to try Sleepy Stomp. Okay. Oh. He can be put to sleep? Oh my god. That changes so many things. Oh. I expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you get some licks in. Wait, how come he woke up? Did he have cutscene like immunity? Well, we'll let Yoshi get the KO. So, I think if we would have actually put him to sleep on turn one. He would have actually stayed asleep for a long time, but the only reason he woke up was because he got cutscene priorities. Ugh. Ooh, that's our Gonzalez. He don't even bat an eye when some fool ambushes him. Tough, tough. You're too tough, son. And you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone, see ya.
19 coins. And again, we don't get a bonus for doing an extra fight. Then again, it would probably encourage the fighters to just barge in to make extra money. That probably would get old after a while. Wow. What well, that was the king of the Koopas, wasn't it? Wow. That guy's a loose cannon. And we need to just do our next match. At least I could skip the sleep animation. Well, howdy. Uh, craw daddy. Avoid. Don't use items. Okay, that's easy. That is easy. There we go. Okay, this morning, my action. Oh, I can't jump on him! Dark Gatekeeper. Yep, a fight to the finish with Craw Daddy. <laughs> Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gate to the netherworld. Oh, I can't jump on him. Okay, so if I'm gonna wanna. Okay. Um, let's start with Tattle. That's a Dark Craw. Yikes! What a ghastly looking spear thrower. HP 20, attack is 6, defense is 0. Wow, that's some serious attack power. You don't want to jump on it if its spear is pointing up, because that would hurt. For a run-of-the-mill spear tosser, he sure looks like he's got a point to make. Ah. Alright. Let's start with... Let's swap out Gumbella for Poops. And I can't do anything, so let's just... Let's just Earth Trimmer. Just to get some damage in. I just can't use items. I failed. Okay. Five damage it is. That's fine. We at least got something on it. Super guard. Again, Mario can't do anything. We'll just shell toss. Yep. Heal. Heal to the crowd. Yeah, so far, pressing A and B at the same time has been helping me, so far. Oh, I could Oh, no, I couldn't have used the Earth Tremor. either just win in two turn. Oh no, I can just win in this turn anyway. Shell toss. Okay, no, what I'm what I should have meant was I could win in two turns by appealing, or I could have just used Earth Tremor. But this isn't that hard of a fight. We'll just shell toss. There we go. Done. We didn't use a single item. Yeah. 
and only because I had jump man and I still don't have a spike shield. 20 coins. We're rank four. Getting close. We're almost to the championship match. Your pocket's beeping. Mail time. Go to the telephone booth out in the pavilion from X. Oh, it's from X again, huh? Telephone booth. Pavilion? Does it mean outside? Do you remember seeing a phone booth? Well, we better go look around. I don't need healing, so... Well, technically Coops would, but... I might not even use him. Gonzalez. Good timing, you budgy little punk! Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt. Quit making such a splash if you value your puny life. <laughs> yeah, you better keep walking, you punk chicken. You hear me talking? Hey, wait, I wonder. You think that idiot sends us the hate mail? I guess it doesn't matter. Somebody hates us, so we better watch our steps. Well, maybe Rockhog is the one that sends us the email, the hate mail. Maybe, I don't know. We have no proof of it though, other than he just doesn't seem to like us. Because we're, uh, we're a threat to steal his title from him. We got a storage key for the storage room. Go to the storage room next to Grubba's office from X. What the heck is this guy's problem? The storage room? I mean, does he think we need the exercise? This dude is really cheesing me off. Alright, time to go to the storage room. Finally, we kinda got something else going on. Other than just fights and then fights being interrupted by more fights. Storage room next to Grubba's office. So you're telling me they have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? I'm awfully sorry, Miss Jolene. I, I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find them. Hmm, fine. Leave the less of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone or of this, or I'll have your job. You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Well, we got a storage key. Oh, <laughs> we meet again, you husky mustache tongue, you. Are you a friend of Gonzalez? I don't know. I didn't know he hang out with crooks. And you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noises while you stole stuff? Oh, please. No one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying about in here. Well, whatever. But you are a thief, right? Hush. All you need to know is I've taken what I needed. And now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. <laughs> and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Yoshi has, like, no reaction. Is that what's called a kiss? I heard about those things. I'm jealous. Only you get it? I almost forgot, my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful lest you end up like those poor, poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye, my delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. Well, she took off, huh? What was that kiss like? I gotta get me one of those. Hey, but what do you think she meant about someone, somebody being upstairs, huh? 
find the switch to reach the attic from X. The switch? So there's supposed to be a switch in here. Well, what we need to do, get Flurry out here. Is there anything on this side? Yes, okay. Over here, we get charged for their partners. But who cares about that? I, I, it could be useful. Here's the switch. Oh, whoops. Didn't make my jump right. Hey, look, another shine sprite. This Yoshi over here. Oh, let's go grab that uh, HP plus for partners. Assuming I'm, I can make the jump, I know I can. HP plus P. Check in here. So you didn't find a hide or hair of nobody in that storage room. That's what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. Grubba. It appears to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. No, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing up in there we miss too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Hey. Hey, and by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I deleted his spot on a roster per, per regulations. Glitz put no longer has any official connection to KP Pete, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all fighters who have gone missing. Who fighters have sure, sure been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. What in tarnation's going on? I even heard s some security idiot saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir. But I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellows that King K headed on home for a spell. If word got out about missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be a sure ain't gonna be good for business, no siree. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills. Know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a damn fine manager, but you sh uh, but you just plump disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Uh, that, that's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy, I didn't mean to pry now. How about this, then? Heard of a crystal star? But no, I never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie dokie. Well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. You go on and run along now, you hear? Well, if, if this ain't a fine how do you do, seems like good fighters are a dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got around here. Whoa, Gonzalez, whoa, did you hear that? Fires are going missing, dude. That ain't cool. Uh, what's that guy talking about King K? The Meyer Leaguer. Uh, uh, Leaguer. I thought he retired. <laughs> hey, somebody up there. Am I winning? Uh, we, I, I think so. We're at rank four, and, uh, we just overheard Gonzalez talking to Jolene, be acting very suspicious. And now it seems to be spotted. We could either squeak like a rat, meow like a cat, or we could belch. I don't know about you, but I think belch is the right answer. Oh, Nelly! Just a, just a little burping beetle. Here I am thinking someone's up there a peeping. I gotta relax. Take some yoga classes or something. Yep. Well, back to the ring. We're getting close to the championship act. We're almost ready to fight Rock Hawk. 
Whoa, whoa, man, we dodged a bullet there. Hey, but did you hear that guy babbling about the crystal star? That Jolene lady acted pretty guilty when he let that one slip out. Well, whatever. For now, we better bail before someone finds us up here. Yeah, we're just a few matches away from uh, the title match. And as you can see, our Yoshi Kid Oogump is green. I named him Oogump because of course I did. Actually, thinking about it now, I should have called him Little Green. Anyway, time to move on to the next match. We already fought Bowser as well. And apparently he could be put to sleep. Our next fight is... Hama, Bama, and Flare. And I cannot jump. Okay, good to know. So... Oh, oops. No jumping, you hear me? And we want... Hammerman. And I guess we could keep Happy Heart now. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I really need. And we're gonna need Goombell. I don't have enough Shine Sprites to power up Yoshi, or else I would have done that. I probably would have actually left Blitzville to do that, but I powered up Flurry. You know, what do you do? Let's see, we got the big bad brute bros. Yep, a fight to the finish with Hammer, Bama, and a flare. My grandpappy's hammer is gonna strike you down. Man, here it comes. Alright. No jumping, you hear me? No one likes to see a jump man. Well, let's first start with tattling. That's a hammer bro. You know him. He throws hammers. Hence the name. HP 7, attack 4, defensive 1. His HP drops and he thinks he's in trouble, he'll toss a hammer barrage. Nothing about these guys has changed. They're tough as ever, so brace yourself. Dang, this book always skips to the important stuff. How do they carry endless hammers? That's a good, that's a very good question. So, you have one defense, but I think it's best time to go fire drive. Oh, uh, we got an attack boost. Um, that's actually not what I would have wanted. We'll get, uh, no, we won't reset. It's also been a while since I saved. Uh, I guess I could have tried to fail the attack. I'll get the tattle some other way. They're not exclu- I don't think they're exclusive to the Blitz Pit. Man, I can't believe, uh, I ran into a point where it's like, No, I didn't want that attack buff. Well, that didn't go as planned. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around the cr about the crystal star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. Great, our angry pen pal again. He sure seems to have a lot of information. I mean, if he knows about the crystal star and the missing fighters, then this guy is totally holding the key to this entire mystery. But, like, who is it? Who? No, nothing else that can be done at the moment. Let's just get my healing. Let's go ahead and... Wait, hold on. Exclu All fires wish you to take part in the must first hear the explanation of the rules. Fires can choose their opponent when reserving a match. Your ranking is not affected when you take part of a match, and there are also no requests. Otherwise, they proceed the same as ranked matches. 
You will receive fight money for these matches. You can increase your opponent options by increasing your rank. Okay. So this means I can just refight anyone I choose. Oh, wait a minute. I, I never even got to fight these ones. Huh. Well, let's start with Hammer, Bam, and Flare. Let's redo this fight. Okay, this is actually new. Exhibition matches were not a thing. <laughs> Great, at least we could get we could still get this done. So is anything said differently now? Bad. No, sounds like it's the same type of dialogue. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wasn't too sure if they would have said something different because it's exhibition. Okay. So let's try this again. Let's tattle. That's a fire blow. That's a fire bro. This relative of the hammer bro spits out fire. HP is 7, attack is 3, defense is 1. If you get hit by a fireball, you might catch on fire, so guard well, okay? As HP gets low, he start, he gets desperate and totally starts attacking like a fiend. I should still be able to use fire drive. See? It's all because of that stupid attack buff. Oh my god. We're all burned here. Mario's- Oh my god! That's the first time I've gotten taken out. And I didn't have a life shroom. Hmm. F, yeah. I mean, I still get one coin. So, note to self, don't put everyone in low HP range. But, I I need that tattle. I need that tattle, chat. I need that last one. Oh, wait, no. I, I, I gotta heal first. Chat, that is my first loss of the game. Do, but does it count when you don't get a game over because, you know, we're in the glitz bit? Does it count? We're doing Iron Man, right? Time to start from the beginning. Oh, no! I didn't realize the, those were the rules now. Alright, let's tattle the last one. All because I wanted to tattle someone. That's a boomerang, bro. This relative of the Hammer Bros prefers boomerangs. HP is 7, attack 2, defense 1. He attacks twice with his boomerangs. And on the way... On the way out, and on the way back. When his HP starts getting low, he fights all the harder. Prepare for multiple attacks. Okay. Single target. <laughs> and he has one defense, so we'll just do this. Yeah, one's weakened right now, but I can live with that. Of course. And I'm weakened, but that's okay. So, I think it might be best to swap to... Let's go Flurry. You know what? Why not? Try something different. See if this works on them. It got rid of the other two. Well, for the win. It worked out perfectly. And I got close to a level up by doing this extra match. That was a nice detour, I guess.
I guess if I was, if I had jump man equipped, I could have like just put them to sleep. <laughs> and that probably would have been the better option. All right, now we'll move on. But yeah, apparently, I guess I was doing an Iron Man run this entire time, even though nothing in the title says it. I guess we gotta start this whole game all over again. Sorry, <laughs> time for the reset. We got Chomp Country. I can't use my hammer. No hammers. Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez. I know the gift arrived from one of your admirers. I'll just leave it over here. If that's okay, do with it what you will. Oh man, that, that cake does look good. However, we, we gotta get to a match. I, I don't think we have time to eat the cake. Wow, I can have power bounce too. Man, I, I, that cake looks delicious. The last, um, the last one we have was delicious, but our match is right here. We have no time. I'm sorry, fan. It's gonna have to wait until I get back. The Red or Fear Orbs. Yep, the fight to the finish with Chomp Country. Arf, 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 arf. They're dogs. They're doggos. I mean, it's kind of weird how you have basically dogs as official wrestlers, but okay. And no hammer. Let's see. It's a red chomp. It's a rapid red bite chewy chomping fool. HP 6, attack of 3, defensive 3. Or attack of 5, defensive 3. Its attacks are so powerful, we could be in a world of hurt if we don't beat it fast. Which is why you. It's really, really annoying that its defense is so high. Its HP is pretty low, though, so items and special moves might just work. Just look at that color. I think someone painted it after it fell asleep at a party. So. We could try Earth Tremor. Actually, you know what? Let's use clock out. Haven't haven't used it. Let's just mess around. Okay. So. I got. Yeah. Okay. So the buttons can change. So you gotta make sure to target the one you want. You can target yourself. And as you can see, I only got one of them affected with Saw. Well, that kind of felt like a waste. And I think you see why I don't like using Clock Out. No hammers. So let's. No, not Spin Jump. Multi Bounce is not going to help. I guess I would just have to go with. Sleepy. Oh, he can't be put to sleep. Oh, he actually throws an egg over there. Normally, I think he actually goes down and attacks. Well, I guess we'll go. And that takes care of that. If I had the ability to use hammers, I could have used like the piercing hammer. I probably could have gone with quake hammer. Apparently he can't go to sleep. I could have tried lowering his defense with the jump uh, one instead. More. Yes, more badge points. Get a full heal too. Yeah, <laughs> how'd that floor taste? We're not at the champ yet. 24 coins. By the way, Gonzalez, you see the dude on the floor back there? 
Thought he went um stupid cake. Ate cake. Never eat cake again. Was that cake poisoned? Yeah, it must have been. If we had eaten it, we'd be all banged up like that guy. Yeah, someone someone uh rigged not rigged the cake, spiked the cake. That's not a good sign. I don't like that. Actually, I don't... Yeah, I, I, we all got the full heal. I don't need to do that. Alright. On to the rank 1 match. We got the Koopanator. One special move. So, Earth Tremor. Got it. First, I actually want to swap back to Hammer Man for this one. Wait, I have more I can equip. Let's see. What does Chill Out do? Eh, it's okay. Happy Heart, Close Call. What was Close Call? Nah. I mean, maybe. How about another FP Plus? Yeah, 15 hard point of oh, FP. <laughs> we'll live with the 10 for now. go the Koopanator we got the razor blade brigadier yep a fight to the finish with the Koopanator you finally I get a piece of you finally we'll see who's truly stronger let's get this fight started so we need to use a special so we could go with Earth Tremor, or we could save the the points and use Sweet Treat. That's a Dark Koopa Patrol. These guys are these guys just totally ooze toughness, don't you think? HP 25, attack is five, defense is two. After it charges up power, its nest attack will be devastating. Try to survive it. It's almost like those red eyes are there to warn you just how tough it is, or maybe it, it just doesn't get much sleep. So we gotta use a special move. Let's just get that done. Let's just use Earth Tremor. I don't trust Clock Out, so. I don't trust status effect moves unless the game, like, there's a way for me to, like, find out what they have in terms of status resistances. Like, I don't know, through Tattle? So I usually don't like experimenting with sass effects. Okay. Now that's done. Let's go ahead and quake hammer. There we go. And now since that's going on, let's Let's let our let's let Ugum fight. There we go. And we still don't have spike jump, so yeah, we kind of needed Quake Hammer. So now that he's on the ground, he has zero defense. I guess I could just go with Power Smash. I don't. I think Fire Drive would actually work on him. Oh no! There was a leak in the ceiling and some of the audience left. And Yoshi for the win. As a winner guys that's it we are at the championship match we are ready to face the champ here's your fight money for 30 coins Rank 
went up. Yep, okay, you say the same thing at the moment. Oh. Ding, 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 mail call. You think it's our from our pal or the guy who hates us? Move the great Gonzalez posters in the lobby from X. From X this time, huh? That guy still sounds like a real piece of work. But, hey, he's all we got. What's he want us to do again? Peel off the posters in the lobby? Sounds good to me. Let's hit the lobby. But before we do that, let's get our heal. We're gonna need it. Alright. Alright, now let's go get rid of some posters. Actually, let's make a save. We're gonna need Flurry for this. Get rid of all the posters. And it they do mean every poster. Because I think this is a case where it's just always the last poster you uh take down is all that matters. So yeah, you gotta get rid of all of them. I feel like you could get rid of two at once in the GameCube version when I line myself up that way, but I guess I'm wrong? Okay, last one. We got a storage key. Go to the second floor of the storage room from X. Oh, I... So apparently, when I hit the ZL to figure out what we need to do next, no matter what, it's Goombella telling us whether she's in the active party or not. Okay. I didn't even mean to hit that button. Interesting note. I thought it would be like, in this case, Yoshi would probably say something. Guess not. I mean, it makes sense that Goombo is the one to tell you. I just find it interesting. Let's move on to this. Let's open this door. Oh, wait, did I ever tattle in here? I don't think I did. This is a storeroom. There are lots of wooden crates here, that's for sure. It doesn't seem to be in any use now, does it? I mean, it's covered in dust. Okay, good, made it. Whoa! You gotta be kidding me! Bandy, Andy, and King K? Solace, listen to me. Man, don't get near the ring when no one is around. Ugh. Well, shake it off, buddy. What do you mean, don't go near the ring? And King K is not saying anything. Aw, oh, poor King K. What happened here? Andy Andy looks terrible. Who could have done this? Whoa! Did you see that, Mario? Was that Jolene? What the heck is going on? Indeed, what is going on? Uh, this is a good pit storeroom. They must keep props or something in here. There's a second floor, too. If you're saying anything odd, don't forget your partners. Well, that's the last we can do. I guess it actually is time for the championship match, so... Let's get this started. I already got my full heal. Uh, 
the great Gonzales. Howdy for fixing a fight, huh? Yuck, 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 yuck. Well, guess what? Your next match is the title match. Woo-wee, darn tootin'. You're going up against the champ, Rockhawk. Now, I want to see a fair and exciting match. So don't you let me down now, you hear? Now listen, son. In this battle, there's no conditions. You fight that champ with every trick and technique you got. Now get in there and win yourself a championship. Hell yeah. Time for the champ match. Let's go. <laughs> Tough your next match. Come with me. Hey, where do you think you're going, pal, huh? The ring's this way. <laughs> yeah, uh, you go this way this time, because it's a special match. Slow down, will you, buddy? Why are we going this weird way again? You wait here. This is an old major league room. But this is or minor league, I mean. This is minor league locker room. And there's and speak of which, where is everybody? I know I said to wait here, but Mario, we're gonna miss our fight against the champ. Now for today's main event! The top dog of the Major League, the Grey Gonzalez, is finally going to throw down with the champ, the one and only Rockhawk. <laughs> First to enter the ring, the Golden Grandstander, Rockhawk. You go, champ. Rock him. Yee, go, champ. Doggies. Champ, how you feeling, son? Your challenger's a handful. He don't, don't want a handful of this. Uh-huh. There's only one champ, and that's me. Even if this Gonzalez wuss ever shows up, what's he gonna do, huh? Nothing. But the great Gonzalez made it to the top of the majors faster than anyone else. Ever. He even got up there faster than you did, champ. What do you got to say about that? What do I have to say? Pfft, that's what. Who cares what this guy did, uh, did to a bunch of chumps? Cause now, he gets rocked! That, that is the best way to handle Mr. Mr. Rockhawk, I guess. Okay, they're like totally ridiculously late now. I'm gonna find out what's up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Mario! It's locked. The door's locked! We're totally trapped! And now for the challenger, the merciless executioner, the Great Gonzalez! Hold the phone, folks! What the heck is going on? What happened to the Great Gonzalez? <laughs> oh, jeez. <coughs> I'll tell you what happened. He feels fears the rock. Ooh wee! What a stupefying development, folks. Did the great Gonzalez really turn a yellow hat and head for the hills like a dog? I tell you what, folks. If he don't show soon, he's a gonna forfeit the match. Our time's a ticking. Mario, we got. If we don't do something soon, we're gonna forfeit that match. We gotta get out of here. This is the minor league locker room. It was just as gnarly as the one we were in. If you check out, if you check the lockers or behind the posters, I bet we'll find old, old uh, find odd graffiti or busted walls. Speaking of which, let's open the lockers. Hey, there's a coin. Anything back here? Nope. Oh, another coin. Someone left their spare change here. Anything over here? More lockers. Another coin. Okay. Let's get Flurry. A 
I don't know why there's a poster of Peach here, but... I want Goombella. Wait, can we turn this on? Oh. And we exit out a different locker. Yeah. So you can go back through this way. Yeah, this is a, di a different major league room. Let's check the lockers. No, no, nothing. Still nothing. A life shroom! That's gonna be useful. Why do I have. Oh, yeah, I bought the dried shroom. Uh, I bought the dried shroom because of getting Don Pianta. That's right. Anything back here? Nope. Alright. Well, when you have to go. I mean, w there were rumors of the man-eating toilet. That was maybe the grossest thing I've ever done. Hey, this is the Major League locker room. Our fight is on. Whoa, what's the deal, man? Did you drop your hammer in the can? I hate doing that. Why Why is, would that even happen in the first place? Why did you just come out of the toilet? You, Gonzalez, why do you dally here? Your foe waits. What? Gonzalez? Huh? Don't you have a match right now, baby? Yeah, and we gotta get there. We gotta get to the match. I shall make a save. Finally made it. The moment you've been waiting for, folks. The great Gonzalez just entered the arena. Gonzalez, oh, looks like we finally actually made it. And hey, listen to those cheers, Mario. They love you. Come on, let's go put this oversized rooster in his place, huh? You rock, man. Yeah, you, the plumber. Gonzalez, you're late. How do they know I'm already? I'm a plumber. Just listen to this crowd hoot and holler for the challenger, Great Gonzalez. Will his hammer and hurt and harm be enough to rock the rock the rock hawk socks? Now at long last, the battle to end all battles is here. Let's keep it clean, boys. Get yourselves ready to battle! Yes, the rock hawk theme. Okay, Mario, this is it. A match with the champ. Let's destroy this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you whips should have stayed locked up. Safe and sound. What? What are you saying? Don't tell me it was you who got that security guard to lock us up. <laughs> You're darn right I did. I also sent you that poison cake, suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain train. So you're the jerk that's been sending us the mean emails about the Crystal Star. Huh? I have no idea what you're babbling on about. What's a Crystal Star? No, wait. I don't care. I may not, I may not play exactly fair, but I got skills, punks. And now you're about to meet them all, baby! Prepare to be rocked! <laughs> Alright. Alright, I have Hammerman equipped. Damn it, I should've swapped. Oh, well. I guess we're doing this this way. Tattle. That's Rockhawk. He flips, flaps, and slaps. That's what the book says. HP is 40, attack is 4, defense is 0. He's really good at aerial maneuvers, but other than that, he's pretty meh. One thing you should know about Rockhawk, never fights above the board. Carelessness leads to lifelessness, you know? Well, since I have Hammer Man instead, let's start with the Fire Drive. Get him burned. Goobella can tank the hits for a little bit. 
He has zero defense, but Goombella and Yoshi do the same amount of damage. So let's just do this. I guess we'll just power smash. There's no need for piercing blow. Oh, there's mist. But it looks like it's only on my side. <laughs> Not too shabby. You're better than I thought. This may actually be fun. Don't get your head swelled up though, cause you all, you got a ways to go. Check this out. Time to rock! He missed. Thanks, missed. Alright. I guess we'll just continue to attack like normal. Hmm. Nope, not bad. My bad. Alright. I guess I'll just use another power smash. It's not hurting anything. Man, you're kind of annoying. How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk? I should have just taken care of you before the battle. I'm getting lazy, I guess. Well, since it's come down to this, I got no choice but to... Thanks, Miss, for saving my butt. And he got burned, and he fell back on the ground because of it. Ha-ha! <laughs> All right. Well, um, I guess if he wasn't burned, what you could do is you use Quake Hammer to shake him off from the grate. You could probably just jump on him like normal. You could also use Flurry. You know, there are many options. There we go. Rock Hawk for the day. Rock Hawk's day. No! I... Rockhawk, the champ, the undefeated master. I've lost to such losers. And the champ has been dethroned. <laughs> Folks, I feel like my ears just popped out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle. Or eyes. Die. My eyes. <laughs> GG. No restart. No rematch. Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. A clash of superhumans. <laughs> Folks, this was truly honest without qu honestly, without question. No doubt. Absolutely. The most legendary, amazing, improbable, history-making bout of all time. And the victor of the match for the ages was... The Grey Gonzalez! Congratulations, Gonzalez. You're the champion, son. We got the champs back. Give him a hand, folks. The new Glitz Pit champ, the Grey Gonzalez. Oh, he's actually wearing the belt. That's new. I don't remember him actually wearing the belt. Well, you finally did it, son. Today's your first day as the new champ. Chudley, hand him the fight money. Here's your fight money. A hundred coins for beating the champ. Tell you what, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up at the champ's room right away. Miss Chudley, be a peach and show Gonzalez here the champion's room, okay? Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you follow me, please? I thought she would start saying something. But yeah, like, we're now the champ. We got the champion's belt, but we kind of already know it's a fake. So what now? Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room now, so make yourself at home. You'll use the terminal as you always have, of course. Will there be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. And with the gold Game Boy Advance. Yes, we finally did it, Mario. We destroyed him. 
but, you know, that Rockhawk really sounded like he hadn't heard of the Crystal Star. And I mean, even though we're champs, we're no closer to finding the real one. Yeah, Molly? Are you, are you excited that we're the champs now? You just wanted to see the new champ? Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi, Molly. She just wants to see the new champ. Right? Right? <laughs> hey, Mario. Am I losing it, or do you hear a voice coming from somewhere? Okay. Okay. What? You want it? You, you're just so needy. Yes. Think it's a ghost? Whoa! Turn the volume down on that thing! I almost screamed! Discover the true nature of the ghost from X. Wait, we have to find a real ghost? No way! Well, hear that, Molly? I have to go find a ghost. Well, you, you don't care about that. You just want attention. You just want the attention! Because you're so needy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're so needy. Oh. You good? You good? Mm. Where's your bone? Where's your bone? There's your bone. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and rest up, get the full heal. And this one actually replenishes my, uh, my star power. Okay. So first, let's get Oogump out here. Bust her way into the air vents. Okay, I was gonna say, what's going on? We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? Well, that's in perf perfect condition as usual. usual. Yep, as long as I got that baby working for me, this old bot, this old bot ain't never gonna get weak. I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First, I let that King K idiot rock walk in on me when I was with that. And now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are onto me. But I guess I, I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear. Yep, just like I did with them others. Like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That voice, it's Grubba. So he's behind all the missing fighters. Better lock this room up tighter than a peanut butter jar at a squirrel convention. And I'll just go ahead and hide the paper related to that in the desk drawer. Why are you telling this to yourself? There we go. You know what, though? Since I'm thinking out loud here, good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Rock, even rock heart, even lock, rock heart. Even rock hawk lost to Gonzalez. This new champion might have to disappear pretty soon, for my sake. Time to bust into the office. I think he's gone. Let's check out that desk drawer of his. Come on, so we open this one. Whoa, bingo! I bet that's the paper old Grubba hit. Check it out, Gonzalez. Yow! A machine under the ring using a crystal star? These are the blueprints! I don't know what the rest of this nerd talk says, but I think the crystal star powers it. If the paper's right, then the machine can suck the power out of people. Yuck! Oh crud, you think that King K and Bandy Angie all got, got all drained or something? Great Gapple and Go- Go Bits! How in tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me, slap me and call me Sassafras. You're starting to get, you're staring at my secret paper, too. Shut up, you make me sick. Why you drink King K and Bandy Andy, huh? Whoa, Nelly, this ain't good. After him, Gonzalez. There's a star piece in here. 
in his other drawer. And uh, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap my badges. Go jump man. There we go. All right, let's make a save. Yeah, let me in. This is the glitz pit itself. That's the ring in the middle. That's where all the magic happens. Oh, okay. It's uh, it's the same time. I gotta say, you all are a couple slack jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now that I know, now that you know my big secret, I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. There's the real thing. Look, Mario, up there, the real crystal star. Yuck, 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 yuck. How'd you like my machine? Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from the fighters with this baby. Slurp. You're darn tootin'. And you know why? Because it keeps my bomb forever young, son. Using a crystal star to look good? You're so totally vain. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, just shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dame please. Check this out. Burn. Muscle up! There we go. Macho Grubba! Whoa! Grubba got huge! Hooey! I'm gonna smoosh you guys into guacamole and snack on ya energy too. Here we go. Boss fight with Macho Grubba. Macho! I'm a powerhouse now. You pestering little pieces of peri, uh, peri piffle, piffle. So as long as I have this here machine, my bod will be rough, tough, and ultra buff. Okay, Mario, I just had enough about of this guy's yapping. Let's take him down. Uh, and we even got an audience here too. But first, Tata. That's Macho Grubba. He's Grubba all souped up in, on Crystal Star power. HP 60, attack is 4, defense is 0. His attack pattern is simple. First he increases the number of times he can attack. Then he powers himself up with all sorts of wild power up moves. So it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he powers up himself. The wildest thing about this muscle head is that he was just regular old Grubba a, month, a moment ago. I guess the Crystal Stars really are powerful. So, you can't burn him, so can't go that route. He already has zero defense. He could lower his attack. I want to see if we can put him to sleep. <laughs> okay. This is, this is stupid. <laughs> Okay, Oogump, up to you. This is really dumb. Well, I could just... I could just attack normally. Oh my god, this, this is so stupid. I never knew he was susceptible to sleep. I did not think this would work. Attack boost, baby. Now I wanted the attack boost. This probably means I won't get the double EXP out of it.
I'm sorry, this is just really dumb. Okay. If I attack, yeah, we won't get the KO. Right now. Can we just reapply it? No, you can't reapply it that way. Oh, okay. I just got very lucky then. I just got very lucky. Okay, it's not a guaranteed sleep status. He wakes up, what happened to all my health? That was so stupid. <laughs> but in the most hilarious way possible. Oh, that was funny. Oh, how'd this happen? How could a perfect bard like mine lose to such a schlub? I mean, it doesn't help that you fell asleep in the middle of the fight. <laughs> Oh, great, Gonzales. Great fight. Great fight there, son. Great fight. Ugh. Oh. Mr. Champion. No, I mean, Mario. Please allow me to offer my in earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubba. Jolene? I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once, by the name of Mush. He'd go he'd have done anything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired as the manager in investigating the secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubba transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope. But then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Aha! So our ex-buddy was... Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubba. Clearly, you can't jump and put him to sleep, so... No wonder you didn't have a chance. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Oh, Prince Mush, he... He, he discovered my sec the secret of my power-sucking machine. I had him... Ugh. Disappear. Any which way you look at it. Ugh. He ain't around these parts no more. No! I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet mush. Boy, I thought she was kind of mean. But it turns out she was just worried about her brother. Wow, check it out, Gonzalez! The Crystal Star! So, is this cheap? I don't know. Like, how do you explain him coming back? Do the crystal stars like, Your wish is granted. Well, is this... Am I back in the glitz pit? Mush! Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I... Was I... I was... I was just... There, there, Mush. It's okay. It's all over. Finally. What about everyone else stuck with the machine? That's a good point. I thought it was implied that everyone else, he just kind of drained most of their energy and then, like, tuck them under a big block like they did with King K and uh, the bandits. 
but like maybe in Prince Mush's case he just sucked all their energy? I don't know. I, I I feel like this isn't fully explained. Is that what Crystal Stars can do? Even the game doesn't even know. Yeah, Mario. The Crystal Star is yours. Or does the Crystal Star literally have the power to just bring someone back to life? Or... Did the Crystal Star... Using the energy it, it like sucked up from Prince Mush just create a copy of Prince Mush based on what energy it sucked up as. Oh, are you sure? It's it's okay if we just take it? It's better that you have it so that nothing like this will ever happen again. It's all you, Gonzalez. Nab it, dude! Oh, yeah. Because we saw King K and the bandit. I forget his name. So... I don't know. We have Power Lift. If this is the move I'm thinking of, this is a really good one. And I'm pretty sure it is the one I'm thinking of. Glitzville's seemingly, un uh, Glitzville's seemingly underside was a dark, dangerous, some dangerous place seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Jolie, Miss Jolie, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third Crystal Star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the Crystal Star to run his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess? And now, we gotta figure out what Peach is up to. Beldum, tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Well, yes, yeah, sorry, but we uh, only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You'll understand that we ex must open the Thousand Year Door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sir. Wee <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies. Mar Marilyn, Vivian. Uh, uh. Mm, no doubt about it. I'm officially bored. Those awful X things having been back to ask about the map. Maybe they don't care about it anymore. Oh, my. That must be tech again. Well, let's see what the computer wants. Yeah, I don't fully understand how, like, the machine worked. Or the Crystal Star's power in that case. Like, it, it just feels a little vague to me. Oh, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? what? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I'm un unable to know things that are not entered into my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I go try to see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change it to it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to go ask Rotus? I want you to ask. We don't know that. Why in the world would Tech want me to go ask about that? He, sh he sure is a weird computer. Oh, 
Is this the elevator you want me to go in? I mean, there's only one elevator, Peach. Pretty sure it's obvious. And wait a minute, he said one floor up. We just went two floors up. Please wait a moment. There's currently a soldier in the vicinity. Huh? Again, Tex said one floor up. We literally just went two floors up. He's lying. I don't trust him. Now, Princess Peach. After leaving the elevator, head to the right. It is the room nearby with the green lamp. There is no reason to explore if I remember correctly, but I'll double check. I don't think there are any x knots here. I don't think we can be spotted. For some reason, none of them are on patrol. Yeah. That was literally the only one, and it left the room. Right, anyway. If I go all the way to the right, nothing there. So yeah, just go in the room. Please change here, quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. So Tech already knows that there's a spare outfit. I just want to see if there's anything else. There isn't. Hmm. Oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Well. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight. And it kind of smells a bit. Ew, who knows how. But I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. I don't even understand how she did this. That looked perfect. The music's changed. That's new. I have no clue how she manages to do this. Although, she is paper. She probably literally, like, flattened herself to do it. Hey, slacker. Part of do not leave your post. Do you not understand, huh? Hmm, what? Come again. Why are you on your break? Well, fine. Carry on. Let's see what everyone has to say. I know we gotta go beat Grotus, but... Huh? You know... Do you smell that, dude? What a word, smell. You smell nice. That is just wrong, dude. What? What? What is it? If you have nothing to say, then don't speak to me. I'm busy. See? I even got a busy x not clipboard here, and it says do not disturb. Well, I think that's all of them. Maybe there's one more guy, but that seems to be all of them. Nothing else to really... Nothing else to do, yeah. So yeah, just go on and meet Grotus, I guess. Excuse me, Sir Grotus? <laughs> yes, what is it? Speak. Uh, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? <laughs> Something is wrong with your voice, Sexnot. <laughs> Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. No, well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever treat her roughly. You understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That is none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the crystal stars. That is all I require of you. We x nots need the legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you bothering, bother, babbling on about? Hmm, something is odd about you. N -n no, nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger, or whatever, but please excuse me. Oh, that was unnerving. 
All that stuff about conquering the world? Talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Off with this thing. Phew. Good old pink dress. My favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I better get back quickly. I mean... When you play sports, you don't wear the pink dress. I mean, you wear a pink sports outfit, but it's uh, not the dress. Tech, you terrible machine. So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world? How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world. Many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. No one likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there's also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan, awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can't allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. Well then, Princess Peach, you've had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. So, one difference between Peach in the first game and this one. Peach did a lot more in the first game because she was constantly trying to escape. The problem here is she doesn't really have the ability to even attempt to escape. That's kind of the downfall, but that's more of the situation she's put in. Anyway, th that, that thing's humongous! Everybody, hide! Now, save yourselves! <laughs> Who'd have thought that fool Mario would be in Grutzville of all places? Did you say something, you rude miss? Uh, no, nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some punies. One of them should know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them and force them to tell us about the Crystal Star. The ice! Th this guy is big and bad. He's large and in charge. Can we, like... Nope. Okay. Eek! Flee! Eek! Y you're scary, Mr. Giant Bid Bad Breath Monster! D don't worry, Petuni. Your big brother is here. We'll... get through this. You're one of them, aren't you? One of those evildoers. You want our crystal star. Ha! See? I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude! Ugly thing? How dare you, you wretched crone? I am of the great puny elder. Eep! My heart! Just tell me right that. I'm too old for this stuff. Oh, I love both of these options. You're both too old, huh? It's hag versus hag. Awesome. Ahem. Uh, yes, Lord Bowser? You look like as if you're di just dying to say something. Uh, nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You, elder hag thing. Where's the crystal star? And don't try to pull rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Hmm. Hag thing? Honestly, in any case... Since you're too late, the crystal star star is gone. Uh, what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to su to a mustachioed man named Marty O. He said he was collecting the crystal stars to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yeah, he was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Marty O, and not Princess Pinch. Her name is Princess Peach. But you uh, seen. Uh, 
Uh, your senility is beneath the point. The princess and the crystal stars must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses. Does his green never end? That jackal. Both Princess Peach and the crystal stars belong to me. Mm, to me! If I find him, I'm gonna fish him off once and for all. I swear it. Bowser's just always one step behind, and the funny thing is, if he just stuck around in Glitzville, he would have found the other one. So now you must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the Crystal Stars. Good luck. Gonzalez. Gonzalez, I want to tell you. Rock Hawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back! Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I have ever met. If you ever need it, I've got your back. Me? I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby! And it's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario! Now that Grubba's out of the picture, I'm gonna take over running the Blitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. So there... Oh, okay, more dialogue. And I missed that star piece that entire time. Sweet, another crystal star. That's three, right? We better roll back to Roport, don't you think? I could have grabbed this the entire time. And now that I think about it, is there stuff over here? Is there anything over here? Okay, before we head back to Roport, there's something I want to double check. So first, uh, I want to see if Jolene is in the... You're welcome anytime. Oh, I can't. I can't do anything then. They won't let me back there. So Jolene is going to be running the place. If Jolene is in the manager's office. Yeah, it's applied that the girl here was Jolene. I mean, there's only like two mushroom, two toads that have the hair like that. Anyway. Time to leave. Alright, back to Roport. So we'll start... I think we'll just start the next... Uh, we'll go to the Crystal Star Room. And then I think we'll do Troubles. And I think that's all we'll do. Or we just do the Troubles to save the Crystal Star for next time. I don't know. Okay, yeah, I could have skipped this. I wasn't too sure if there was anything special on the way back the first time. But I figured show it off at least once. And no, you know what? We'll go to the Crystal Star Room. Because there's stuff in the... In the underground we could explore now. So... Oh, email. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're seeking the crystal stars and trying to claim the a legendary treasure. I still don't know what that treasure is, but you must hurry and gather the crystal stars. I will gather what info I information I can. Princess Peach. Those dudes want to rule the world? That would stink. So, let's do a little bit of exploring. Because now that we have Oogump. We can make the mistake. And uh, fail that jump. Let's try that again.
Oh, and we can talk to... Let's talk to Luigi. Let's hear his story now. See his adventures. Got my second piece of the marvelous compass at Plump Belly Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one. I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Once we made landfall on the Strudel continent, we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake ma named Hiza. He was the best... He was a beast demanded... Uh, he offered up his own... He said the beast demanded he offer up his own daughter as a sacrifice, too. So, of course, being heroic, I offered myself to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now the, cu now the custom for sacrifices was to be dressed up as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one I was one heart hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good. I fooled our foes and got in his lair. It was a kind of rough it was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Shift and really chaves. Bro. I finally found his uh, and the snake that had had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. I it, it weared up feigns and bear to attack. And at that moment, I deftly lunged left. His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining plate fell down on the spot where his body had been coiled. Yes, another compass piece. I set it and it pointed east, to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. She was sort of cute. But we ended up sneaking up. We ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still have to save Princess Claire from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I am certain it was Princess Claire's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized it. Princess Claire, I I think I. Oh, I kind of zoned out there. Um. So yeah, we gotta set sail again after Digital. And somehow we managed to make it back here to Rockport. I am. Hold on. Okay, so now we gotta see what this guy says. Hi, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm a ball I'm from Plump Belly Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry, I sound so down, but you'd be too if you've seen Luigi's Big Bridal stunt show. He's so clumsy in heels. It was like wobble a wobbly force of nature, falling down everywhere, knocking things over, tumbling into people. Now I have an obligation to tag along and, ch and clear the area of Luigi so much as glances at Stiletto. Somebody has to be the her uh, has to be herald of the coming wobbling apocalypse. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. I think that dialogue is slightly different as well. So in this one, he applies it's just being heels and he just trips over himself. I think in the original. He was just saying that Luigi in a dress was so, like, uh, like, uh, like, like, it was so, like, horrible to see that he's sticking around just so no one, that he won't appear in a dress ever again so anyone can see sort of thing. What's the wrong button? I think that's what it was. That's Jerry, Luigi's Balam buddy. He's a little different from most Balongs. He seems rattled and a bit bruised, as if he's taken several lumps to the head from a clumsy, bri clumsy bridal de decoy. Speaking of which, I wonder how graceful I would be as a bride. <laughs> yeah, I think that's been changed. I could be wrong, but I think it was. And if it was changed to this... Makes you wonder. Grab the Shine Sprite. Now we can power up Yoshi. Let's grab the Star Piece. Alright. Wait, if I jump off- if I fall into the pit... Okay, you- it's the last platform you were standing on. Not, like, where you first entered, like, from the pipe or something. Make double-checking. I'm pretty sure, like, I, I assume, like, right... 
that what happened would have happened, but, you know, what, just double checking. Let's just head to the star room. Here. Let's open this up. Just open the way. Now, there isn't another one. Because, like last time, there wasn't a way to Glitzville. One, two, three, four. But there's seven warp pipes. Maybe I went here too soon? Hold on. Oh! Right, there were shine sprites in the other room, so I think... Yeah, both of these probably just lead to shine sprites. Uh, you know what? Maybe I need to come back once I go to the Crystal Star Room. Let's try that. Maybe that's the trigger. There we go. Oh, and that star piece was there the entire time. We're not going to the Pit of Hundred Trials. There's no reason to go that way. So let's just activate the... Let's just get the map updated. Again, we're going to get this started. We're going to do the troubles, do some cleanup. The troubles probably won't take that much time, but then we're going to save Chapter 4 for next time. This one, I really hope they fix some of it, but we'll see. I mean, I'll find out later, but yeah. And that shows where the fourth crystal star is. I guess we'll have to show this to that Frankly guy. But first, we better tell him what Princess Peach email said, right? That Princess Peach is bent on total world, world conquest. Uh huh, you got that right. And that's why these jerks need that legendary treasure. Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what the treasure could be. One book I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous uh, theory. This book claimed that the treasure was a in actuality the Great Cla Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. So these jerks think the power of the cat that cataclysm will help them rule the world? I can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's, that's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again, this town... No, the entire world could be destroyed. Then out with it, prof. Uh, Professor. We gotta find that next crystal star super quick. Hmm, according to the map, it appears to be the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about that place myself. Only rumors. I have heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogueport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me, okay? Under the ground in the west part of town? I'll check. Gotcha, bro. bro. Come on, Gonzalez. Time to go. Let's go. Time to break out. Oh yeah, he'll still call you Gonzalez. That's just what he knows you by. Dear Mario and Koops, I hope you two are doing well. Okay. I have to admit, with Coop's gone, I haven't been doing very well. 
I get lonely, and I go to Coop, and I go into Coop's house, and I smell that Coop's smell. I guess it, I guess your cologne, or I guess it's your cologne or whatever. But it makes me so sad. Lately, the place is starting to smell more like your dad, Coopley. He has his own smell, and it, and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. It's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, and since he's gonna be my dad too someday, I better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but I'm sending this anyway. <laughs> Love, Koopy Koo. Rogue for today. Oh, tell Toad sells in. It's time to. It's come to light that after settling. Uh, after settling into life at our inn, Toadsworth has often been spotted in the company of Zesty, the notorious finicky Zesty. Surprised all, uh, surprised all when she was hearing, when she was heard saying, "What's wrong with spending time, spending time with my little Toad, uh, Total Twos?" The possibility such a comment opens, opens has our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Our focus of attention this week: Pugin's Great Tree Shop, or. Pu Pungents, whatever. Pungents' easygoing management philosophy is money and customers are fickle, so easy come, easy go, you know? He fully understands why his shop isn't busier, too. We're well hidden, but any, like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. He's even have special offer for RDM reader, readers. For the next 15 minutes, he'll give you double shop points. That actually is the true, as soon as you read this, he, it actually lasts 15 minutes. I'm... Today's yummy recipe, spicy soup, steep a fire flour in hot water, and presto, you're done. The perfect first meal for kids to cook. Well, we've been working all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Looking forward to more hot, hot news in issue three, coming soon. That is actually true about the 15 minute thing. Hey, you know what? My daddy found a little a new job. He takes care of little oints in tow, in tow town. He's all recharged now. I'm still not good at studying, but I'm trying to Trying so I can help my daddy. I don't know what I could do to help daddy yet, but I'm gonna but I'm gonna study lots until I figure something out. Okay? Well, see ya. From Pine T Jr. From the side quest, we save his dad from the pit of a hundred trials. Well, let's power up Yoshi. Let's power up Ugo. Let's get this going. Uh, but yeah, let's start up one of the troubles, and then we'll go into the warp room. I, I can't power up more. What are you talking about, old man? I can't do that. All right, with, oh yeah, we can do more things too. Now that we have Yoshi. Ooh, go. Alright. I need some cleaning done. Motivated workers only. Please meet me in the promoter's room in Glitz Pit in Glitzville. Well, Jolene needs some help. Let's go take care of that. But first, before we take care of that, let's go over here. Since we can finally make it. Uh. Okay, hold on. Take this, drop up down, drop down for another shine spray. That's how you're supposed to get over here. Do that. And I want to get back on the roofs anyway. Maybe I should have explored the roofs a little bit more before doing that. But I don't know. Let's see. Behind the chimney, we kind of saw it. Star piece. There's another shine sprite. We have three, so the next partner we get, we could probably just... Actually, no. No. Okay. Well, we have enough for a new partner to power up. Good afternoon to you, sir. I am called Griff... Grifty, the traveling minstrel. I spent my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Roqueport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will require just a few points. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. Um... 
let's save this for next time, okay? We'll do. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll cover those at the beginning of the next one. But first, let's check the warp room now. Now that I've activated the crystal star, does this update? Okay, so you have to bring him to the door first. Good to know. Wait, does this bring us to Gulitzville? Because... This is new. This is new. There was never a warp pipe to Glitzville. Because it was in the air. How could the pipe just reach all the way there? So this is a new uh, fast travel point. That's very nice. Well, this makes things a lot faster. You're the ex champ, right? Yeah, the great Gonzalez. I don't know if you know this, but Miss Jolene is the fight promoter now. If you have business with her, head down to the hallway in the promoter's office, okay? Oh, are you planning for your comeback? Because that would be awesome. I mean, not right now. We got a little, we got a job. We're not here to beat the champ again yet. Maybe later. I think it was in here. Yep. We gotta, cl we gotta clean this place up. Maybe I sh need to talk to Jolene first. How many of them are there? Man, there's so many dirty shorts here. Man, why are there so many? Like, why aren't they cleaned? Or, or like, just thrown in the trash? Uh, trunks. Wait, let's check in here. I better check in here. Hold on. No, there doesn't seem to be any. I mean, there could be one in the very corner, but okay. Last one? What about the vents? Or the rafters, whatever. Mm, there doesn't seem to be any tucked away in here. Got that done. Now we have to go visit Jolene. Because we picked up all the shorts, but... You gonna fight again? That's great! Hey, go right on in, okay? Our new promoter, Miss Jolene, is right inside. It's just like, uh, yeah, I was not here to actually sign up. At least not now. I, I was here to do the... Clean the other room. But yes, yes, who is it? It's customary to knock before entering. Oh! Wait, it's the Great Gonzalez. It's been too long. Not really. It's only been a few minutes. How have you been? I must tell you, we've seen a big drop off in attendance since you returned the belt. I was a touch worried. Our financials didn't look too good for a while, but luckily Rockhawk made a dramatic comeback. Comeback and is the reign supreme again. Yes, it's been a whirlwind of activity every day since I became a promoter. Wait a moment. Are you back to fight? Great Gonzalez's return? You must be, right? Yes, yes, you must be. Come on, tell me it's true. Oh, yes. What? You want me to unretire in battle? You want to unretire in battle again? <laughs> I knew this day would come. Let me just find your old registration, registration, so we can't. Huh? 
Oh, ouch. I'm so sorry. But all of our records of you seem to be gone. So our only option, sadly, is to start you in the minor leagues again. Sorry. Sorry, but rules are rules. We can't bend them even for our next champ. I'll just go ahead and put you on as ma minor league fighter again, then. Well, when you want to fight, you know the deal. Use the locker room communicator. I will not be going over the arena rules again, of course. Bye for now. Uh, well, we got that set up, but... You accepted my trouble. Well, fantastic. Let's get down to business. I need you to clear out the gar uh, the garbage in the storeroom. What? You already did it? Well, you're more than a clean freak than you look. But you smell terrible. Oh, no. You don't still have that garbage on you, do you? You have to take that stuff far away from here. I can't stand it. I know of a Goomba named Goomfree in Rookport that buys stuff like that. I already got in touch with them, so just get, in, get that trash out of here. Yeah, I had to. I think I had to make sure to talk to her for that bit of info about uh, Goomfree. We will not be doing uh, the arena. I would used to redo the arena to get like some extra cash. But one, I don't need the money yet. And two, like, we literally just went through this. And I also don't have the time. Let's use our new fast travel point. This is so nice. And then we could just go up here. I love this. This is this is a nice, a very nice uh, change. All right, who do I need to talk to? Although you don't know, I'll teach you something. How about that? So people are good at fighting. They establish moves. Nope. Okay, there's one person I need to talk to. For this guy who defrauded, who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. Find that jerk. Give him pound for me. Not you. What do you got to sell? Yes! The W emblem. And we'll save the money. This is what I wanted. And now, with the best badge equipped at the moment, we are now Wario! I'm a Wario. I'm gonna win. Do I need to talk to you? Who do I talk to? Want to Goomba? No, okay, so it's not you. Is it the guy on the east side? I think so. Yeah, I think it was on the east side. I keep forgetting my who's who sometimes. Yeah, I spoke to Jolene. Now, who was... Now, who was it that she wanted taken care of? No, who? What, you say? Well, fine. Let's get it done. So what are we doing here? There's just a lot of dirty underwear, isn't there? Or dirty shorts, I mean. I mean, they are shorts. They are very comfy and easy to wear. I guess we're doing. Uh, I guess we're done with this one. Man, I have never had a job this stinky. Make sure you get Dura's pay. Make, get Dura's pay for this man. Make sure you get Dura's pay for this man. Okay. Is that it? We don't need to go back to Jolene, do we? Oh, uh, we need to go all the way back to Jol. Yes, I remember. Like part of the reasons these troubles can be annoying. It's back and it's this back and forth. I mean, think about it. In the original GameCube version, this fast travel was not there. So you had to go all the way to the blimp. You had to watch the cutscene because uh, that was not skippable. At least I don't remember it being skippable. And you gotta take the time to land from the blimp. Then you have to go talk to Jolene, pick all the stuff, and then do the same thing back. Watch the cutscene to fly back to Rogueport. Ugh. Backtracking, am I right? Alright, gotta go talk to Jolene. I 
I don't... It, it's kind of annoying because she could have easily just be like, paid us right now. You know, when we got all the trunks, to be like, I'm paying you now. Go to Gumfrey, and we'll just say this is all done. Because she doesn't care. As long as it's like out of here, out of Glitzville, she's fine. <laughs> this back and forth really wasn't necessary. You cleared it all up? Well, here's your reward. You have my gratitude. All for 30 coins. Also, Gonzalez, why'd you change your outfit? I guess we'll... I guess we won't be getting the smell out of that room anytime soon. Okay. She could have just easily been like, you know what, I'm just gonna pay you right now. Bring the rest to Goomfrey. He'll take care of it, and then we're done. We got two more to do. And take the warp pipe. Let's go. I don't think we're going to be attempting Pit of 100 Trials for a few more chapters. I mean, with my stuff that I currently have, I could probably reasonably uh, get maybe another 24 of them where I got to last time. But maybe I want to wait until I have another partner or two. I don't know. I want to make a heartful cake, but I forgot the recipe for Mario's sake. I have to keep my shop open, so can can you find the recipe? I'm hoping. First I learned the recipe from Toys Tea. Yes, over in Petalburg, you see. Please meet the meet me in the Charmer's Hut beneath Rogueport. Hurry, hut! Alright, let's go visit Merly. Merly is the one that... It'll be faster to go this way, I think. She's the one that... I can't, I can't remember. Let's check this one. I can't remember if, it, if this is Merle or if the... Uncle Mario, if you wish for me... No, okay, it wasn't you. It's the one that gives me the curse. Not the curse, whatever. Seven. I guess I'll have item hog. I think I'll save the rest. Maybe I'll save up for flower saver as an option. But I think that's... I got the main ones I really wanted. Yeah, I think... We, I needed to go in here. I want to meet with her first. And sadly, I don't need to renew my uh, my fortune, so I could have taken it. Really must know how to bake a yummy, tasty, heartful cake. In a house, by a gate, you must go to ask Petalburg Toys Tea. All she knows. Okay. I guess I probably didn't need to go and uh, check that up. I, I probably didn't need to go talk to her. As long as you know who Toast T is, you already know the mission. You probably could have skipped that step. At least I think so. I don't think there are other big blocks for me to break. Not that I can think of. So let's go to Petalburg. Alright. Right up here. Yeah, 
yes, hello. I'm Toast. I'm Toasty. Did you need something? What? You want you want to make a heartful cake? And who asked you? To Merly? Let's see. I know you need cake mix and ruin powder. Tee I wonder who Merly is making it for this time. So that's all I need to do. I think I just need to find out the info. Cake mix and ruin powder. Because there is no way for me to actually make it myself. Because we can only you make we can only uh, cook things with one ingredient. So nothing else I could do. I'm offline? Wait, did I crash? Hold on. Seems fine to you. Uh, might have just been on my end. Let me double check things. Let me refresh. Yeah, you're right. It, it seems fine. Might have just been... Uh, just video playback on my laptop, not the stream side. Anyway. So, did you find the recipe for the heartful cake for little old me? Ah, I remember now. That's right, of course. Wow. Oh, no. What shall I do? I have no cake mix. Woohoo. And I can't leave my shop here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I hate to ask, but could you please bring some cake mix? I'm on my knees. Well, if you knew ahead of time, I could have could have picked that up. A little bit of back and forth, but the back and forth could have been mitigated. And there's only one place to get cake mix. There's only one way. Off to the Pianta Pal Parlor. Yeah, so let's go grab some cake mix. Luckily, I have plenty of Pianta coins. Let's just get what I need. Oh, dang it. I need to get rid of something. Uh, let's see. Um, hot dog. Sure. Now I'll get a cake mix. Right, now that I got that, now we can go back to Merly. Let's go to Merly. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we can do. With Yoshi. And in Rogueport, I'm not. I don't think there is anything else. At least, I, I'm not thinking of anything. I think basically going to the right side and going onto the rooftops is basically all you could do here. Almost done. Do you have cake mix? Do you have it? Let me see. 
Thank you, you're the best. You passed my trouble test. Cannot make a cake without cake mix, right? No doubt. As you make a heartful cake, mix ruin powder. Well, to make the cake mix properly bake. I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it tonight. And it will be out of sight. Then I'll charm someone's right. Thanks so much to you, dear. Here's your reward. Here. Thirty coins. Okay. One more trouble. Oh, whoops. One more trouble to do. Almost. Last one is from a bubbler. I have a bad craving for a certain food item. Could you fetch it for me, please? Meet me in Petalburg. Bub Bubbler. All right. I bet you, if you had the item on you. You wouldn't need to backtrack. The problem is, I just don't know what he wants. He wants a hot dog. I think he wants a hot dog. And I used up the hot dog. But luckily with these warp pipes, this is less of annoyance. Well, let me double check and see if that's what he actually wants. It's not you, was it? No, the other one. I shoot spores off in his pants, my civic duty. Yeah, other, it's the other one. Did we crash? Or is it just buffering on my end? No, but I think it was just buffering. All right. Oh, good day to you. I'm Bubble. Bub Bubble. I, I, you came after hearing my request, correct? Oh, I'm so happy. I would like to ask you to bring me a hot dog, yes. Uh, it's said to be spicy, but I never experienced spiciness in all my life. Some say they are sold to Goodsville. Please get one for me. I ha- <sighs> I could have used up the gradual syrup. I could have used a mushroom, a shroom fry. There were many other things I could have done. But no, I just had to use the hot dog. At the very least, this is here. Honestly, this right here just makes this less of an annoyance. Yeah, this is not that bad. Did you? Did you? Did you? Hey, yes, it hatched from that inc incorrigible egg. I suppose it's the best that I don't cook that I didn't cook it. Now you're interested in a hoggle hot dog, still only ten apiece. May I tempt you? Yes. A mere pittance of ten coins apiece. May I tempt you more? No, I only have room for the one hot dog. It's not even for me. I could have saved on this trip. I didn't have to do this. Off to Petal Meadows. I can't, I can never speak. Alright. Almost done. So now you know if you need to do this trouble and you picked up the hot dog that was just sitting there on the ladder, just don't use it. Just keep it in your item inventory. Oh, did you bring something for me? Oh, 
So this is a hot dog. I'm gonna go right away and try it. Much smack. <clears throat> oh, oh, hot, 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 hot. This, so this is spicy. Well, the spiciness is quite interesting. Makes me crave more of it. I'm terribly sorry, but could you give me one more hot? Okay. Again, if I knew this, I could have just stocked up. Imagine if you didn't have any hot dogs. You buy him the one, you go, like, base, the original GameCube version when this warp pipe was not here. You ran all the way back to Glitzville. Yeah, you, know, you had to get all the way to the top, you had to get to the blimp, you had to fly all the way there, you buy your hot dog. You have to run all the way back and then run down to Rogueport Sewers to take the shortcut back. Just to find out he wants another one. So then you do the whole thing all over again. Yes, I will take another hot dog. This one's- uh, this side quest is here just to purely waste your time for not thinking ahead and carrying more. Okay. For the last time. So either way, even if I didn't get rid of the hot dog, I would have still had to go back to Glitzville. This is annoying. And remember, if even if you didn't have any hot dogs, if you're doing the mission for Jolene, you could have just picked up a couple hot dogs while you were there. I'm so happy to be able to eat another hot dog. I've dreamed of this. I shall devour immediately. Munch. So oh, 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 hot, hot, hot. Spicy, spicy hotness. Now this, this is spicy. Oh my, that was positively delicious. Good gracious, I'm sweating with pleasure. I'm rather surprised that this, that it was spicy rather than just spicy. By the way, and I know this is rather rude. I love to ch I'd love to chase that with, with a sweet. Sweets are the spice of life. That's my new theory that I've just co just now coined. Could you maybe cook a cake mix, please, and make it? <sighs> I sold mine at one point, so I do have to make another one. This guy, this guy's really just like, be like, dude, you're making me do a lot of backtracking. It's like, you could have told me you wanted two hot dogs and a cake. But no, it's a one at a time thing. Like, it's spur of the moment. Fine, we go back to the Pianta parlor. We get some cake mix. We cook it up and bring it to him. The reward better be worth it. Granted, if it's 30 coins, that's just a 10 coin profit. Okay, mix. Yes. Look, I have plenty of coins. Okay, we got the cake mix. So I guess grab two cake mixes because Murley needs one and grab two hot dogs. You need to make me a cake. Again, the real... The real reward for the Murli side quest is to learn about. You basically just learned a new recipe. You can't do anything with it yet, but you know of a new recipe.
Okay, please let this be it. Stupid cake. Oh, moose cake. I can't wait to eat, so I won't. Oh, sweet. Good gracious. I'm quite satisfied now. I feel like I've been demanding. You have been. Maybe I just wanted to be spoiled by others. Maybe I was so selfish because... You know, because I had such a peace... It's such a peaceful place. And I crave peace, love, and food. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, let me show you my gratitude. Dried bouquet. I'm growing these dried bouquets lately. If you want more, just bring me another hot dog. Right, okay. So while the item itself may not be that great, do you talk about been playing Thousand Year Door? I wasn't sure at first, but that game is awesome. I just beat it. Every chapter. How? Total cool ending. I loved it. So worthy, so worth the money. I think there'll be a sequel. I think there'll be a sequel. If not, I hope they make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, I bet that'd be awesome too. How did this kid beat all, I mean, granted, I haven't been playing 24 seven, so I guess, I guess that could check out. Uh, so while the item itself is not that great, obviously, it's obviously meant for cooking. I, at least I'm pretty sure, so if you need that item again, you have to basically pay 10 coins for a hot dog. But anyway, that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I'm gonna make the save here in Rogueport. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you wanna see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. Next time, We'll probably start with the lore dumps that the minstrel can tell us for money. And then we'll start working on... We'll start chapter four. That's the plan. I can't think of anything else. Anyway, have a good day. Later. See you Monday.